Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to Sewing Street, me, Vicky Carroll, with you till 11 o'clock today. And surprise, 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 Hannah's back. She's upstairs in her own little contained gallery. She says it feels very, very surreal. She feels like Rapunzel. Rapunzel the one's up in the tower, isn't it, yeah? I thought it was your very long hair. She says, I need a haircut. Uh, she says, I desperately need hairdressers. <laughs> but she's back. She's very, very excited um, to be back with us. Hannah's obviously been producing from home and she's been texting in. So actually, everything's going to happen a lot quicker today. We're going to be able to bring you all sorts. And she's come back with lots of ideas, which is exciting. So... Um, yeah, we're so thrilled to have that Hannah back in my ear. If you do want to get in touch with us today, there's a couple of ways of doing it. If you're on our Facebook page, uh, Sewing Street TV, message in, message in. We want to have your input. As always, as I always say, the last few months, honestly, have been made with you watching us. It, honest, we, uh, I know that we get a lot of messages saying, thanks for keeping us company, but honestly, you keep us company. So please do message in, and uh, Hannah can keep an eye on it and, and read out any messages, and we'll say hello to you. Uh, if you are getting involved on the web shop, which, do you know what? If I were you today, I know that we were having a couple of little gremlins this morning. Fingers crossed everything will be fine. But if you have got uh, an iPad or a tablet or a laptop or something, Definitely worth getting onto the web shop today and just having a bit of a mooch. I know already eagle eyes have spotted some of the most amazing panels that we've had just come in. Uh, I will show you in a minute. Starting, as we always do, though, with an early bird special. Now, I know that I've stressed this, but as of last week, this is only for one day and we've got a really good early bird today. We're always talking about making, you know, uh, marking out different uh, patterns, notches, markings, anything on your fabric. And there's lots of different marking tools that are available. We like to offer you a whole range as everybody has different preferences. But this is one of the, the fabric markers that are the most popular. And you're going to get two, two marking pens. Now, I said to, uh, I was talking to uh, Hayley yesterday and I'll buy a Paul and I was talking about this and we were saying, look, What's the point in only having one? You never go into a pen pot in your kitchen or on the side and have just one biro, do you? <laughs> because always another one goes walkies or uh, there's uh, someone else might want to use one. It's always handy. Maybe one that you just keep in your pencil case ready to go to workshops when we're able to. We always need multiple marking tools, I think. So it's perfect that you are you are saving as well a pound. So it's £3.98 for two of your hemline marking pens. Now they, uh, they, they will not damage your fabric. I would always give it a little bit of a, a test before you use it, just to check that you're happy with how it's erased. This one is on the web, don't worry. It is on the web. If you, you don't need to search the code, you'll be able to see it there underneath us. Or of course, speak to our customer service team. You'll only pay one postage and packaging all day long. This is why we like to do an early bird special. For anybody who's set their alarm and woken up nice and early with us, we like to say thank you very much. Open your order nice and early and you'll only pay one PMP of £3.95 all day long. It's capped at £3.95. Now, those of you that are saying, I don't trust drawing with pens on my fabric, I will show you how it works. So even though it's blue, it will all, it, it doesn't matter what sort of colour fabric you're using on or what fabric, always give it a test and check that you're happy with how it erases. But I've just got a cream fabric here, just telly purposes so you can see. It's got quite a nice thin nib actually, so if you do want to do some quite fine lines, then that's perfect. So I'm just going to do it across. Oh, well, and that's a bit wet because I t did test it earlier, so it's already started to disappear. But, so you can see there, I've just got a damp cloth and just... Whether you're washing a quilt, your marks will disappear, or whether you just get a damp cloth and go in with it. Drawing faces on a toy to check that you're happy with the position of the eyes, it completely disappears really quickly and really easily. Um, if you are, if you, I know a lot of people use air erasable pens, but sometimes they can just disappear very, very quickly if you're in air conditioning or if you're writing them in birthday cards, Hannah, uh, it could disappear. So this disappears with water. £3.98 and remember you are getting both. You are getting two pens. Wipe off. We've got hundreds of these. I'm so pleased that we've made a really, really big early bird special because so many times I say, oh, it's limited on stock. If you're watching on a replay, it's definitely worth having a go for this and, and seeing if there's availability. As I said, I know that we had hundreds. But everybody needs one, whether you're a bag maker, toy maker, dressmaker, quilter. 
it, it crosses all sort of skills, whether you're uh, wanting to use them to mark out some of your uh, notches on patterns or all bits and pieces like that. It's just really useful to have them. Embroidery designs, no matter what you are doing in the sewing world, it's always handy to have fabric markers. £3.98. Now, honestly, if you've bought these already, you've paid your P&P, stay with us because we've got so much. You're not going to pay it again. It's, it's capped at £3.95. All your orders uh, will come in together at £3.95. Even if you're buying a sewing machine, even if you're buying pins or bobbins or a sewing machine or uh, rulers or ruler racks, no matter what the weight or no matter how many items you buy, it's only one P&P. What I'm going to do is I'll keep coming back to this throughout the day and remind everybody, as I know, as I say, it's going to be so popular, but we have got a really, really great quantity. I'm really pleased that we've managed to get hundreds of these available. Good luck. Right. So that's today's early bird special. Don't forget about that. If you, even if you haven't bought it yet, but you see something that you like later on, it's definitely worth maybe adding that to your order with the saving for less than four pounds. Uh, right. So can I just quickly flash these up because there's already so many eagle eyes on the website who have checked out. We're not going to do them just yet. Nine o'clock. Make sure you are here because I've never seen, we've never done a panel like this. It's exclusive to Sewing Street. And I think it's a really, really great idea because how many of us make our own quilt labels or, you know, like to put the name or the date or if it's for somebody, even if it's for yourself, just remember the date that you, you stitched, um, you stitched a, a quilt or a cushion or a gift for somebody. You've got lots of different sizes and lovely different styles there. How gorgeous are they? They are on the website. We're going to bring them on air at nine o'clock. I just wanted to give you a little quick heads up on it as I know there's people already spotted them on the web. We've got three different colorways that are coming up, three different panels, all exclusive to Sewing Street. I will show you them all at nine o'clock. So set your alarm, make sure you're there. That's exciting. They're brand new. They've never actually ever been to air before. And never, ever, ever. Okay. So where are we going next, Hannah? Let's do EPP because a lot of people I know over the last few months have found us, which is brilliant. We've had so many lovely messages coming in of people who may be, um, you know, just starting out sewing or, or, or may have sewn at school or may have sewn years ago and dusting off the sewing machine and never had time. Or we always say that, don't we? Not enough time to do it. Whereas I know, of course, at the moment we've had a lot more time. So Cat for one, has been uh, getting into English paper piecing. What is EPP? We say it a lot. EPP is a hand sewing technique. It's a very traditional hand sewing technique where you wrap fabric around cardboard hexes uh, and stitch them together. And it can be a massive quilt. It can be completely random. It can be for smaller projects. It doesn't necessarily need to be for a big quilt. Um, but it is a really, really lovely traditional technique. And this is a traditional shape. I'm going to take one out so you can see. They are hexes uh, and you get a hundred in each pack. Now they're all laser cut. So don't get me wrong. You could cut a hundred of your own hexes out of card. But these are precision cut, they're laser cut. Don't cut your own, because uh, Kat says don't cut your own because you, you cut the wrong size. But also these are great because look, they're, they're quite a thin card, which means that you can use them again, but also uh, they're thick enough that they're, they're, they're not a paper. You are still gonna be able to wrap your fabric around nicely and, and, and hold them together. Do you want a tip from Hannah? Using them again, yeah, we want to use them again. You hole punch a hole through the centre, they're easier to get out. Ah, oh, yeah, that's a good idea. So then you've got them safe to use again. Um, that's a good idea. That's a really good idea. You iron them flat, did you say? So then I iron them flat again. If they're a bit folded, then she'll iron them flat. It's very precise with her pressing. £5.99. For £5.99, especially if you've already paid your posting packaging with your fabric markers, it's definitely worth having a go. With a hundred hexes, I'm just thinking, Kat, do you know your quilt, I mean your quilt's getting quite big now, you've done a lot, you've done more than a hundred hexes I'd say. You, I wouldn't even necessarily say that you would need to multi-buy on this, of course you can absolutely take advantage of the fact that it's one P&P and if you do want to keep reusing and reusing them, there's, there is a certain sort of shelf life, it's not going to be able to be reused 
30, 40, 50 times, but you will be able to reuse them if, they're, if you're careful. Um, but what I was going to say is, as long as they're all attached to a hexi around the side of it, you can then take them out and use them again. Don't take out the other ones, um, but like Hannah did, because it can warp your fabric. Um, but this is, a hundred is a lot to, to last you, is what I'm trying to say. It's a really, uh, it's a lot of hexes to keep you going. £5.99, and it's a lovely slow stitch. We're going to be talking about some amazing, super whiz sewing machines that do thousands of stitches per minute. But... This is amazing to be able to do a little bit of slow sewing. I've been looking on websites for different things that I want to do or thinking, oh, now I've got the time, I could start that or do that. And I'm looking at the shipping and thinking, well, I'm not going to get it for months. Um, whereas at the moment, fingers crossed, we are still up to speed with our shipping, which is amazing. Our warehouse team, oh my word, they are amazing. Now, of course, they're working extremely safely, but they're also working very efficiently round the clock to make sure your orders are delivered to you safely. Um, but it, it does mean that if you do still think, right, do you know what? I am going to have a couple more months where I'm at home and I want to do something that I can look back on and remember those times and a skill that I've learned. English paper piecing is a brilliant one and I find it so mindful as well. Sitting in the garden, doing a bit of hand stitching, you don't need a machine, you can take it on the move and we're allowed to go, you know, out and about on our holidays. It would be lovely to just take on the move as well. Uh, Hannah says, every now and then, if there's a bit of fabric that's left over from a project that I've done that I love it, I will keep that in my scraps and I'll keep, you know, some of my favourite fabrics just to make something that I can remember Crazy patchwork, it can be completely random, but some of our favourite memories of our favourite fabrics, or it could even be of clothes that you've cut up. I know that, you know, a lot of people do sort of memory quilts, which would be a lovely idea to just stitch uh, favourite shirts or favourite tops of, of a loved one. That would be amazing. £5.99 for 100 EPP laser cut hexes. Okay. Hayley yesterday was very, very, very excited about this. After the early bird and the panel, she said, your glue pen's back. Now, every time that I say this, I feel like I need a, one of those megaphones to shout from the rooftops, because every time we get this in, it sells out. And I've got a feeling that we have all of some line stock, because whenever I look elsewhere, you can never get it. It's, or you have to pay quite, um, quite a bit more, I found, so. We're very, very lucky that we have the relationship with Solan that we do. We've opened the pack, but it is um, your Solan glue pen. Now, what I would suggest as well, we've all tried it. Don't use just a random craft glue that you've got in your cupboard that you might use with paper, like a print stick or something like that, um, because this is a specialised fabric glue pen. So it's not going to bung up your needle. It is a temporary glue because obviously you do want your uh, you do want your your e your EPP hexes to come out of your, your fabric, but also. It isn't just EPPs that I know love this pen. Bag makers love this pen because it's great to hold your zips in place. Uh, this pen, honestly, makes your sewing life so much easier. It's £5.99. It comes with um, a glue stick already in and it comes with an extra refill. Uh, it's blue, but don't worry, it dries completely clear. So even if you're using a really light fabric, it dries completely clear. So now it's up to you. You get into your own sort of stride of how you use it. I've seen some people use a lot more glue than others and it's just completely up to you. What Kat likes to do is not... <laughs> Kat was like, that was, that felt like a bit of a personal dig, Vic. No, it wasn't actually at you, I promise. But Kat does say that she likes to make all of her hexes on an evening and then in the day she'll sit and she'll stitch them all. So she does like a little extra glue just to hold them in place. So Kat just puts a little bit in the centre to stick your hexi down. You have a quarter of an inch. Okay, yeah, Hannah's cut this. It's it is kind of a hexi, but this this it has it has got an extra side. <laughs> Now, do you glue your paper or glue your fabric at home? Because I, Hannah glues her fabric and Kat glues her paper. So again, it's personal reference. It's personal preference. I'm doing a bit of both there, but you only need a tiny bit of glue. Fold it over. What about the extra side that we've put at the bottom? Maybe we need a bit for there. But as I say, you'll get a feel of it, of how much glue you need and if you need more, when you need more. 
and it's not cheating. I know a lot of people who hand based are thinking, oh, I wouldn't use a glue pen because that's cheating. You save so much time. You get to the nice uh, fun bit. It is your tacking. It's only a temporary measure. It's the glue pen um, will still be stitched. Oh, your full cushion will still be stitched, but it's a good chance to uh, to get them all in place, nice and neat and nice and tight, ready to go. Oh, look, that was completely intentional that we fussy cut the, uh, the, the little bird to be in the middle. But then once, I mean, it just spins around and when you're ready to uh, replace your, uh, your glue refill, then it's really easy to do. They literally just pull out to the top, pinch it out the top, put your next one in. Yes, yeah, squeeze out your excess that's in the bottom. Don't, um, yeah, don't leave any to waste. If it gets a little bit dry, not like, <laughs> not like desert dry, Hannah's saying. But if it does get a little dry, what's your tip? You've watched, sorry, you've left, okay. What's your tip? A little bit of water. A little bit of water, just a little bit of water and it will um, moisten it up, moisten it up a little if it gets a little dry. <laughs> Five pounds 99. Is it nice to be back with us, Hannah? It's, I tell you what, it's lovely, to, it's lovely to have you here. She says, this is normally her at home. She's normally just talking to the television. So it's nice to have you here. Whilst making a coffee and having your brekkie. She has got dressed today and she's got makeup on. She said she was very, very excited. And you cycled. Oh, well done. She said, I cycled and I walked to work today. She did a walk and a cycle. Well done. £5.99 for your water-soluble glue pen. And as I say, it dries completely, completely clear. It's a really great just to hold your, your, your fabric in place without pinning. Because if you're doing a PU bag, for example, you can't pin. You don't want to. Well, you can, but you'd probably get holes in it. So this is a really great way of keeping things in place. Maybe fabrics that you can't or you don't want to pin. Really handy. Love that. Five pound nine nine. That's a temporary glue pen. Um, we can't get enough of them. I know so many people that have got multiple, like your fabric markers. Buy two. Okay. At the moment, the refills. They've come into the warehouse right now. We wanted to get them straight on air as we were doing a bit of an EPP. They will be going onto the website, but if I'm being honest, we've been a bit impatient and they haven't gone onto the web yet because they've literally just come into the warehouse. So. Please speak to the customer service team if you want the refills. We just thought we'd get them on air straight away and show you that they're available, but only via the customer service team. Hannah needs some, so she's writing the code down, which is ICYV35, Hannah. Sorry, I was just taking the label up, just so you can see. Now, also, if you've got a prim um, glue pen, these fit in with that because, uh, yeah, Kat's got a prim glue pen. How much did you pay for your refills, I swear, Kat? Nine pound to th for three. Nine pound for three, she paid. You've got six. They're blue, but it doesn't matter. Um, they will dry completely clear. And she waited weeks. She paid, she paid nine pound for three, and she waited weeks to get them. Um, Hannah stocks up for the year. Because uh, where she would stock up, uh, the, the problem is, is that it's actually really difficult to get hold of the refills. As I say, a lot of, uh, I think a lot of our stock, a lot of Soline stock actually comes to us because we obviously just want to keep it on reorder as, a lot, as much as we possibly can as we know the demand for them. But they will last as well. It's definitely worth getting them in your stash, keeping them, because as you are getting involved in EPP, it does become a bit addictive. Uh, you will need more refills. £6.99. Once you've paid your postage and packaging already today, add them to your order. Call the customer service team. I will keep an eye on the web. Or would you message in, if you're watching on the web and you see them pop up, would you message us just in case we miss it? And then I'll show it again. Um, because at the moment, you have to call the customer service team. Let us know. Will you let us know and will you leave one for Hannah? Don't buy them all. Leave one for Hannah. Because <laughs> they will go again in the next couple of days or they might even go today. Um, right, can I just remind you, coming up at nine o'clock, just very quickly, we've got three brand new panels of quilt labels. They're going already on the web. I will show all three colourways on air at nine o'clock, which is exciting. Talking of panels, we've got three hexi panels, which again, are exclusive. Uh, these are relatively new. I've only seen them once before. And Kat and I absolutely love these colourways. 
Okay, we're going to start, yeah, with this. Now, the great thing is, if you buy a charm pack or you're going through your stash, yes, I love it when it's random. I love EPP that's completely random. But here you have got really gorgeous, complementing rainbow colours. It absolutely makes my day looking out the window and seeing beautiful rainbows in everybody's window. Imagine if you were to make just a, even something, it doesn't need to necessarily be in a rainbow shape. You can make your very own rainbow colour EPP um, cushion for $7.99. You've got loads of different prints on there. Now we're really limited though, very, very limited. If you want these, it's less than 20, did you say? Oh no. Right, at the moment, there's less than 20 available. We will try and get more, but there's only 20. You've got stripes, spots. I like that you've got the white spots and the contrasting spots. You've got almost like the linear spots. Say something controversial. It's only, what's the time, Hannah? 8.21 and she's saying something controversial. She's only been in the chair for 20 minutes. Go on. Okay, you don't want to make a rainbow. It's fine. She says, I love rainbows. She says, I bought uh, a leather rainbow for a neighbour um, who makes handbags. Amazing. She said, yeah, she likes that. Supporting, of course, the NHS. But you want to cut that up and you want that ready to go through for different projects in those colourways. Fair play, yeah. I'm with you. Uh, I think because they don't need to necessarily be together, but they're really great colours. You've got reds, yellows, purples, blues, pinks maybe there's colors in there that you don't tend to buy like purples or pinks hannah says she doesn't necessarily buy but they're good for your stash still aren't they they're so good for your stash you've got a lot more green haven't you in your stash can i say we've seen hannah's stash it's um completely packed away into some lockers that she's now painted in a bright orange. It looks fabulous. And I spotted them on her on her Instagram. I said, let me see these lockers that you've been working on. And um she was like, oh yeah, look, she opened it just slightly by accident. And then the look on her face was like, oh, you don't need to see in there. You know, it's like the secret cupboard where you just shove everything in. Hannah's stash is in there, all her fabrics. Down to single figures on the rainbow colour hexi, which I love these. It would cost, well, you've got, if you think about it, you've got one, two, three, four, five different prints here in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, you've got loads of different colourways, haven't you? Don't you start. Hannah's saying, I love counting with Vicks. Those of you that ever watch our sister channel, Jewelry Maker, I was on with Steve Bennett, who's our founder. And oh my word, he completely shamed me on air with maths. So much so that his little boy is four years old and he said, Louis, you know when you, you think, you know, your counting isn't that good, you're doing all right, son. Because mine was so bad. But um, yeah, numbers aren't my speciality. I'm not afraid to say it. $7.99. And you all know it. Okay, let's go. Uh, with these. These are really, really, really gorgeous. Now, I don't know whether they'll say Easter in the graphics, but they're beautiful pastel colours. It just says pastel, brilliant. I think they were launched over Easter, but they are so beautiful. I'm thinking for baby quilts or little projects for a, a new nursery. Oh, they're so cute. They're lovely colours, aren't they? Just your pastel blues, your baby pinks and purples. Your greens and your yellows for seven ninety nine half metre, seven ninety nine. So right, will these work in conjunction with the hexes that we've um, that we've shown the hundred hexes that we had? These will work in conjunction. They should do with the uh, the ones that we have shown. Yeah, they're lovely, aren't they? Printed especially, exclusively for Sewing Street for £7.99. And let's have a look at this lovely detail you've got. It's quite a, a sort of 90s print, isn't it? I do love it. These ones, look, you've got all of the little squiggles. You've got this, uh, I was going to call them stars, like little crosses. It reminds me of like a 90s, 90s print. Yeah, that's exactly what I said. Seven pounds ninety nine 
with one postage and packaging. <laughs> yeah, if Fresh Prince of Bel Air did English paper piecing, this would be it. Or the next one, actually. I'd probably go with the next one. Seven pounds ninety nine. One postage and packaging all day long. Loads of you have already got involved. Um, Early birds are still available, by the way. If you are checking out on this, it's definitely worth just having a scan. Now, you've only paid the one p and p of what else is available. But they're great value, aren't they? You've got loads of hexes. 60 hexes for £7.99. 60, 60 hexes for, for £7.99. Value for money is brilliant. Let's do the brights. Well, this is a story that... Is that what you're singing? The theme tune. This is the one I absolutely love. As we said, great for your stash. And look, if you don't want to do English paper piecing, hexes are brilliant. You, that you can applique them onto things and give it the look that you've done the EPP. There you go. Gorgeous colour again. See, they're different to the rainbow ones. They're the same print as the pastel ones, but they're in um, really lovely bright colours. What about a laptop cover or um, a, or an I iPad case or a makeup bag, the front of a makeup bag, you could use one of those bright colours again just to, to line a bag and, and back it, you could applique them on. So much you can do with this. Hannah's been looking at different stitches to do hand quilting. She said it would look really cool if you were to hand quilt through it. Um, just really simple, hand quilting through. £7.99. Because I've probably spoken to you, Hannah, more than I ever have in the whole history of ever knowing you. I speak to Hannah every day. So, um, every day. Um, it feels like a lifetime. So, it's it actually, when you say, oh, since I've been away, it, does, it feels like you've just always been here. It's lovely to have her back in my ear, though. In my head. The voice is in my head. Oh, what's the fabric company that it reminds you of? Have you heard of cotton and steel? Said so the fabrics are amazing. They're very contemporary fabrics. So they're beautiful quilting, contemporary quilting. They made a collection that looked very, very similar to this. Oh, okay. I'm so pleased that that didn't take you any longer than five minutes because that would really bug you, wouldn't it, all day? They are gorgeous. Seven pounds ninety nine. If you do love cotton and steel, then this is this is yeah, it really reminds Hannah of that. Look them up if you haven't seen them already. Oh, nice. And it's really beautiful. I mean, this is, this is two, they're two and a half inch hexes. The colours and the prints are really, really clear. Um, let me show you, if I hold one of the paper ones that we saw, remember you get a hundred of these. So there you go, you got your quarter of an inch seam allowance round. Go for it, Hannah, if you want it, you can do it. How would you cut these out, scissors or rotary cutter? Scissors. Maybe if you've got a small rotary cutter, like one of the 28 millimeter ones, or smaller ones, you could. But no, if you go around with the scissors, I mean, look, if you go, you've got the seam allowance included, so it, it's, you don't need to be horrendously strict with yourself, but just go with a nice sharp pair of small scissors, seven pounds, 99 for your panel and then don't forget if you do want to get the hexes as well they're available on the website for £5.99 quarter of the stock of the hexes have gone and we're now down to really limited stock on all three of the hexy panels oh no they're gonna go right you've got to get yours hand quick if you want it don't forget nine o'clock can we have a quick look at one of the other colorways I love these can you tell can you tell? I absolutely love them. Nine o'clock. The pink's beautiful. We've got three different colourways. We've got like a rainbow colour, the greys, and we've got the pink. I'm not going to show you the, uh, the last one till nine. Sorry, I'm revealing all of the surprises. Right. If you would like some great, great, affordable fat quarters, I mean, the price on these is crazy. Don't get me wrong. 
I love the fat quarter packs that we have that come in from some of the designers. They are beautiful. But every now and then, you just want a plain fat quarter that you can applique onto, that you can have a bit of fun with, and that is really affordable. What about linings? What about cushion backs? Maybe EPP makeup bag, but you need to line it. These are gonna be ideal. Wait till you see the price on these. Bearing in mind, let me show you what a fat quarter is before you see how low this is. $12.99? For a fat quarter, look at that. That is a lot of fabric, isn't it? EPP and makeup bag, good idea. <laughs> Hannah's got her idea for her next project. Thanks to the uh, the French Fresh Prince of Bel Air inspired, uh, <laughs> we feel like the colours are what Will Smith would have. So Hannah's making um, a makeup bag, yeah. Oh, it would look beautiful. Going as well with, let's get that one out. So if you did get this hexy one, These would go perfectly. These would go absolutely perfectly with these colours. Where's our rainbow one? If you got the, the rainbow panel as well. How much does that make our price per fat quarter? Look, these are brilliant for this. They go absolutely perfect. Okay, this is silly. One pound 62 a fat quarter. One 62 a fat quarter. They're great bright colours. Um, this is making Hannah's laptop cover very affordable. She's coming back into work. She needs a laptop cover. Do you just carry the laptop without a case in a backpack? Oh, no. Whilst you're cycling. Oh, no. You definitely need a laptop case. These are great, aren't they? Oh, I love that colour. I'm imagining you should have this as your, li this is your lining or this is the back because you love that colour, don't you? The new beautiful. Oh, no. In fact, so Hannah was always ochre. That is the colour of Hannah, I would say. That is Hannah's ochre. But she says now, I'm orange. During this lockdown, she's got a new love for the colour orange. Yeah. I told her to stop looking up the meanings for things. You know, when you we're all bored and we're thinking, why did I dream that? Or what does that mean? Hannah said, I keep picking up orange paint and painting everything orange. What does that mean? I was like, don't look it up, Hannah. And it does mean that she's craving social interaction, which makes sense. Now, everything will be orange in her house, but I do like your orange lockers. They look really nice. You should definitely do your laptop bag. EPP front. <laughs> what did your neighbours think when they saw the deliveries of orange paint every day? She says, they never question ever what I, what happens in my house. She says, they all laughed because I bought a leopard print doormat. Love that. Love it. It looks really good. These colours are gorgeous for your stash though, aren't they? Whether they're all together or whether you are, uh, you know, they're just for your stash. They're great colours and brilliant price point. Right, let's do some wonder clips. So now these are always very, very useful for your stash anyway. But I'm thinking... If you're doing English paper piecing, I'm just going to grab some of these hexes that we um, Hannah prepared earlier. So they're all different colours, which is great because if you're using them uh, at your sewing machine, you're not going to leave a pin in a bag, which we've all probably done before. Uh, but if you are working on an overlocker, pins are, aren't a great idea. So clips are brilliant for lots of things, whether it be bag making, you're working with lots of layers. If you're doing binding, I know John Con Morgan uses these. But what I like about this pack it's a pack of 10. You don't need necessarily a pack of 50. If you're doing English paper piecing, once you've got two hexes together, obviously, once you're working on a large project, they come in really useful. But you've got then your hands free to do your stitching nice and easy when they're together. Um, oh, gosh. Right, can we please get Kat some of these? Because Kat was using pegs from the washing line. But these are brilliant because, look, can you see that they're flat on the bottom? They're flat on the bottom. So um, if you are working with these at your sewing machine, that is really useful. They've also um, got lovely little markings as well, but they're great bright colors. So they open nice and wide and you're always gonna see them. Flat base, uh, you've got the guide scale. As I say, you've got those lines you can see uh, as well. Uh, for when you're working with these at your sewing machine, you've also got the little scale. £7.99, always extremely useful. And um, for bag makers, quilters, EPP, hand stitching, they're brilliant. 
Uh, the watch, sorry, Hannah. They're still not on the website, but you know you need to speak to the team. They're already going. There's loads of you there. Uh, uh, the reason I'm so, so sorry that they haven't um, they haven't gone onto the web shop yet, but it's because we were being impatient, if I'm being brutally honest with you. We, uh, we wanted to get them straight on air. They will be going onto the website at some point today. If they've not sold out beforehand, if you want them, call the customer service team. 0800 001 4433 is free to call. Um, they just haven't yet made it to the web shop because we saw they'd come back in, wanted to bring them straight on air. Just jot down the item code number ICYV35. Also, the EPP hexes, these are already pre-cut. They're in a thin cardboard. Now, on the website, the picture is a bit misleading, I think. It looks like you just get a sheet of paper with it printed on. No, they already come cut. Elsewhere, I know that you can get them or you can download them where, you know, you cut them yourself. But these are already laser cut. These are pre-cut. They're super, super durable as well because they're on card. Uh, just £5.99. We'll have to change the picture on the web. It looks like you're getting one giant hexagon printed on a piece of paper. So ignore the picture on the web. <laughs> £5.99, you're getting all one-inch hexes. They go perfectly in conjunction with the panels that we've seen, which are now extremely, extremely popular. Quarter of the stock's already gone, but uh, I don't want people who are on the web shopping going, hang on, what is it that I'm buying? You are definitely going to get these 100 already cut hexes. Okay. Freeze the paper. Now... Me too. And you know what? I don't know whether you saw. Han said, I've been having a look online and finding so many different uses for different products that we sell. And I did the same with freezer paper. And don't quote me on this, but there's a Pinterest link that's got something like 120 something uses of freezer paper in crafts. There are so many different ways to use it. So it comes on a really nice big roll. Now, talking of our shipping, yes, at the moment, touch wood, fingers crossed, all being well. Everything will come to you delivered on time. If it is a day or two late, thank you so much for your patience and your understanding. But our team are working so hard to make sure. Uh, I think, yeah, everybody's been lovely and very understanding. So thank you very much. Um, but as far as I'm aware, we're up to speed with shipping. Which is brilliant. Amazing. Because when you're looking at freezer paper, because it's an American product, there's a lot of places that just aren't shipping it, that you can't get it, or you have to pay a ridiculous shipping fee. So I love the fact that we've got this, and every time that um, I'm on air, I always want to show it because it's so useful for crafts for so many different reasons. It's basically... Uh, one side, you can see, is kind of matte, and the other side is nice and shiny. Now, this is not a glue, but it adheres to your fabric when you apply some heat, which is... Brilliant. Make sure you turn your iron on. Um, the reason I said that is because we've seen so many different reasons. We had a bit of uh, uh, ways of using it. We found a new way of using it. And then we said, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. And then I said, oh, it will work if you turn your iron on. Um, but these are brilliant for if you're making your own templates, if you want to do your own quilting templates, they're brilliant. The ad adhesive sort of stays a couple of times as well. It's not going to damage your fabric, it's not going to leave on your fabric. If you've got children that are doing crafts, £6.49, put it out onto the table as well. I mean, there's so much, you get 12 metres there for less than £7. I would multi buy on this, I really, really would. Let me show you our new, right, let me check my irons on. The excitement for us when we find new ways of using freezer paper, um, trust me, is, is quite paramount. So, I'm going to peel them off. So, I've got, I've cut a piece of the freezer paper off and I'm going to put it down onto a pressing mat. The reason that I'm doing this, shiny side is up. The reason that I, I, I think this is great is because Kat does all of her hexes like this and she gets them in a little box and they're all like that and she does it at random. Which is great. But if you want to do some sort of order, if you want to do some sort of design, you're happy with a pattern. I've seen some people have got like sort of optical illusions going on. Lights and shades and Tula quilts, the EPP, a lot of them are sort of optical illusions. Or even if you're thinking, right, I don't want to do optical illusions, but I've got a bit of a, a routine of how I want these colours to work. Maybe it's a rainbow or maybe um, you want it as an ombre or if you want it in a specific way. So Hannah wants this in a specific way. She's got one for the centre. She wants a flower. So she's already used a glue pen and wrapped these in card. 
Now, what I would do is I would do it like that with the cardboard facing up and put it in the position that you want. Now, we're going to go round in like a little flower. Oh, where's the one I did earlier? There's the one that I did earlier. Let's slot that in. If you're making a purse or something, or a smaller project, you can make it so you've got your boxed off bottoms as well and just get it all in position that you, you know, you're happy with the shape of the pattern pieces. Um, so then, you saw this on yesterday's show, it's available on the web shop, Teflon sheet, plique mat. I would put that on because obviously you've got glue. If you are using your, your family iron, people aren't gonna be very happy. Well, Kat's had to clean her irons, thanks Kat. So then, if you just give that a bit of heat, be careful because obviously, um, you, you will want to then leave it for a couple of minutes, but for telepurposes, I am going to go for it and just be very careful. Peel off your, your Teflon sheet. And then these are... Oh, hang on. These, the magic trick, they will be stuck. Hang on. I didn't leave the iron on. Oh, do you know what? <laughs> That's so annoying because we did this so perfectly. Our magic trick worked. This was what we did for the whole of the hour earlier. Right, let me give it a bit more, um, I gave it a little bit of steam, did another small then. Maybe this freezer paper has had a lot of action this morning, as it were. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm so pleased that worked seamlessly. Right, they are there. They are completely stuck. I'm shaking it and they're stuck. So then I've got my pattern to the side of me and I can work methodically. I know exactly which ones I want to use when. And then it peels off. They're stuck down, but it peels off. Look, it's quite sticky, but it doesn't leave anything on your fabric. No glue, nothing. And I, I mean, you, you might be able to get another go out of that, but as I said, it has been, it, we have used it quite a few times this morning. Uh, £6.49 for your freezer paper. I mean, that's, it's, it's not going to stick forever, but you could lay out your whole cushion front and have it next to you. It doesn't matter if, the, you know, the cat walks in or, you know, it, there's a wind, a gust, a gust of wind comes and blows them all uh, away. It is going to stick. Now, it isn't going to stick forever. It's a temporary stick, but if you can see, it does stick really nicely. It does stick really nicely without damaging your fabric. So then you can work in which order you want. What about if you're using it for a bag? You could cut out your freezer paper into your pattern piece size and then you can work out how many hexes you need to cover that front and then which ones need to be cut in half to cover the sides if you're doing like a boxy shape or you know a funny shape so it is really really useful say this is the the size of my front my cushion front you can decide exactly where your best colors are going you can put them all together and, and, and work out how many you're going to need to fit it, press it all down, get it in the order that you want, and then just peel it off when you're ready to go. It is going to last, you know, if you're going to do it over a couple of days. Just make sure the iron's hot, give it a good press, and you don't need to then, as soon as you do it, go, whoa, look, it's stuck. Don't listen to Hannah, basically. Um, there's so many uses for it, but that was our latest use. Please let us know. We might we should start a Facebook post, really, of different ways you use freeze paper. Because as I said, look on Pinterest or look online. There's so many different ways of using it. Hello, Juliet. Juliet's messaged in. Morning. Morning. Loved what? Morning. Love jewels. Morning. Oh, where are you in Sunny Ride? I'm so pleased the sun's shining today. It was very cold though. It came up like a uh, freezing warning on my, my dashboard this morning. Who had to defrost your windscreen, cat? Oh my word. Right, Hannah had to cover up her little plants last night. She's, had, she's got a brand new tree that she's uh, planted yesterday. I tell you what, she's turning into like Charlie Dimmock or Alan Titchmoss. She's getting very, very good. She's getting very good. <laughs> I'm sorry, you can only imagine what she's saying. Um, she's getting very green figures, this is what I'm trying to say. She's doing, gar every time I FaceTime her, she's gardening. So you've planted, what was your, um, <laughs> didn't mean to offend you. Go on, what have you planted? 
Lettuce, rocket, tomato, covered them. Yesterday she planted some lavender. You've got eucalyptus as well, you did the other day, didn't you? And mint. And a Japanese maple. A Japanese maple tree. Oh, oh, that's amazing. See, Hannah's like well, worried that she's not actually achieved much during this lockdown. You've done so much. You've done so much. Okay. Um, right, those of you that do want to send any messages, we love having your company. What have you been up to? Have you been, uh, have you been doing lots of gardening as well? Have you, uh, have you got a Japanese... Any tips for Hannah as she's uh, loving the gardening at the minute? Sewing Street TV is their Facebook page. Send in your messages. She says, I'm always loving the sewing. I'm doing my EPP in the garden. I FaceTimed her last week and Hannah said she saw a, a footstool that she really liked online, but it was quite expensive. She says, so she turned the camera around and she was like, so I'm making my own. And there she was, making her own footstool. You've stopped it. You haven't, you haven't finished it. She says, I really, I need a long zip. There's no end on it. Oh, and the zip head's come off. I'm with you, I'm with you. So she needs a really light, long zip. Is that why you're on about the glue pen for your zip, for your footstool? Now I don't have a zip. Okay. Yeah. Annoying. The Rainbow Hexes has sold out. So that's that one, isn't it? Yeah. Let's, uh, the pastel and the one that I'm calling Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Pastel, there are single figures. And there's less than 20 of the other Fresh Prince of Bel-Air brights. Yeah, I don't know what the, it just sounds nicer than me saying DPPU79. It's just called bright. Okay. You'll see it on the graphics saying bright. So I've just used a little pressing mat. Now these are ideal because, I mean, let's face it, unless you're Lisa Wilcox and you're that bored now that you're ironing your underwear and ironing tea towels and things, I just find ironing, oh, so dull. Whereas pressing in the world of sewing is really, really important. It is, but you don't need to get your big family ironing board out all of the time. Sometimes if you're working with smaller pieces, if you're doing half square triangles or smaller blocks, just a small pressing mat, which is nice and compact. These are brilliant for $14.99 because you can open it out and you've got your pressing mat. But what I love about this, when we're able to go to workshops and, uh, and uh, on the move with our sewing, this is brilliant. As a gift for somebody, really useful. You've got a cutting mat inside, which is Amazing. If you're doing just smaller piecing again, perfect, ideal. You've then also got like your velvety sheet, which works as almost like a design wall. Uh, so your fabric will sort of adhere to that. So that's really great to have. And then my favorite part, you've got this sandpaper. Now it's a sandpaper that if you're doing any markings on patterns, have you ever had it that your fabric slips and slides out the way? This is gonna hold that in place whilst you're doing your markings. So. I love it. I think if you're after a gift for somebody that's really useful, we all have a person, you know, that has a hobby or a craft. And let's face it, you don't walk into at the moment, obviously, but even when you're shopping online and you're looking for gifts for a specialised hobby or craft, you can never find the right thing when it's their birthday approaching. So even if you're thinking, right, I know somebody that would love that. Get it in the present cupboard, absolutely. Have it that you're ready to go. £14.99 for less than £15. Something that isn't just a bit of a novelty or travel size. It's really useful. And I love this print as well. I think that's so pretty. It's a very useful gift for somebody. And I don't necessarily think, I know a lot of people that have bought it for themselves, but I think that it's a nice gift. It's something that maybe you think, I've already got a pressing mat and I've already got a, a cutting mat. Whereas... Not necessarily something you might buy yourself, but as a gift, it's really useful. Okay. Do you like the uh, sloths? Oh, that's so cute. I, I can, honestly, I'll never just have a, get enough of these sloths. Oh, my word. Has anybody else done that Instagram thing? Uh, Hannah did it. So you show your face and it says where you're... John Scott did it, didn't he? Hang on. You're meant to be an animal. It, it tells you sort of what you... I don't even know what it is. It just changes your face into an animal, doesn't it? I don't know why. It tells you what you... I don't know whether it's what your face is most like. <laughs> it's so random. I tried for so many times to get the one that Joe... Did Joe have... Joe had a really funny one. 
can't remember, I tried loads of times. There was a sloth, there was all sorts, wasn't there? It was hilarious. <laughs> Hannah says, oh, Instagram told me I was a sloth. I look like a sloth. <laughs> $14.99. And exactly the same as the other one. You've got your pressing mat, which opens out. It's just nice to be able to, if you're taking a block to uh, a workshop, when we're able to start, maybe you're thinking now, right, plucked at the p courage to go on a retreat or go on to uh, a workshop or classes, finding local classes when, when they start back up. Uh, this is going to be handy to just take your fabrics all in there, ready to go. It's not going to be slipping and sliding out of the place because you've got the, uh, the nice little velour velvety sheet and you've also got your sandpaper for your markings, your cutting mat and your pressing mat, all in one for £14.99. We love them. Now, I, um, I'm not going to lie, I used this this morning for ironing my sleeves. Don't judge them because they're probably not, they're, they're probably not very good. As I say, I don't like ironing and I spent too much time cutting out koi carp that it was the last five minutes to quickly iron my sleeves. Um, but we're talking about quilting and we're talking about um, uh, quilt, quilters a lot today. But I think this is going to be brilliant for bag makers, dressmakers and quilters. If you're doing smaller half square triangles, it's nice to just have a little diddy ironing board. I mean, one, it's so cute, isn't it? It's so cute. Those of you that do children's wear, uh, did you watch the Great British Sewing Bee last week? This is ideal to do little sleeves, or even, I say little sleeves, um, even any sleeves, in fact. Uh, if you want to do nice little details, quite intricate designs, then it's nice to be able to have that space. If you're doing bag making, any tubular shapes, then it's great to have. It's like a, a little sleeve board, really, isn't it? But equally, for uh, half square triangles or just pressing smaller blocks, just having something near you. Oh, no. Hannah, you've discovered so much during this lockdown. You need to write this all down. One, of, uh, one thing that she's discovered is her rug is not a pressing mat. Doing John Carl Morgan, John Carl Morgan's uh, block of the week, so they got a bit bored standing up, so I decided to do it on the floor. And the rug is not a pressing mat. But if you've got your little station set up where you've got your sewing machine, you've got your cutting, and you know that you need to do a little bit of pressing, but it isn't an extensive amount of pressing, maybe just pressing seams, um, then you've got that that's really handy just to do as you go. And you could put it on your on, on a coffee table in front of you and do it in front of the telly, and it's not going to take up any space. £7.99 and it does pack down nice and flat so you can store that away nice and easily. Oh, do you know, you've got to get this for your mum. Is not it? Is it you or your mum that collects borrowers stuff? Both of you. Both of you because um, it's a bit of a strange Hannah thing that she's obsessed with the borrowers but it's because she went to the school where the borrowers were sort of based on. The lady who wrote the borrowers went to your school, didn't she? She lived there. Oh, she lived there. It was her house. Oh, that's even cooler than the story I remember. So she collects miniature things. That's a, that's a normal size ironing board for our Paul, isn't it? Okay. Less than 10 minutes until we do the panels. Don't forget the quilt label panels. Those of you have already checked out on those. Today's early bird. Two fabric markers for £3.98. Why have one when you can have two? That is my sort of life motto. Why have one biscuit when you can have two? Hannah says, I do it with glasses. I have to have two pairs of glasses because I don't know where one is. You can only wear one at one time. So if you haven't got them on, then you, you don't know where your other pair are. There you go. So it's really nice to have a fabric marker. Now, of course, we all have different personal preferences on marking tools. This one is a, a, a water erasable pen. Always test them. Check that you're just happy with. Give it a little test, put a cross and just check that you're happy with how it erases. I've got a damp cloth, which is quite dry now, to be honest, because um, we wet it at the start of the show this morning. But there you go. You don't need very much. That is a very, I would say that's quite a dry cloth. A bit of, a bit of dry sponge. But it still erased it really well. And it will, of course, just dry normally. Um, it's blue, but you can use that, as, as you see there, on really light fabric. But it's quite a nice colour if you're working with... Let's see if you can see it on a darker fabric. Yeah, I can see here in the studio. I don't know if on the overhead it's as clear. Can you see it? So I think no matter what fabric you're sort of working with... Sorry, I went with the bristle. <laughs> the, um, the scrubber. But again, just giving it a bit of a, 
a damp cloth, it will arise. If you, if, even if you're working with, uh, if you've marked out all your quilt patterns, you quote, you cross and you don't want to go in with a sponge, whack it in the wash and it will disappear in the wash. Okay. Early bird special, that is hundreds of those. Um, so don't worry about stock, just keep checking out as soon as you can. Now we've got a bit of a stock warning and it's nothing to do with today's show actually, it's just on the website. If you're shopping on sewingstreet.com's website, um, I know a lot of you are just going through, stocking up, having a look, which is brilliant. You know, our web shop's already there. But if you are considering, oh, my favorite extra large topology, mm -hmm. there's one left. I wonder when we're going to be able to get it re-delivered. Look, we are doing everything in our power to be able to get everything back in stock as soon as we can. But as you can imagine, a lot of suppliers aren't sending it out. So we'll get it back, but I don't know when. So just if you were umming and ahhing about it, there's one it appears in stock. I'm not going to show you on it. It's a brilliant, brilliant stripology ruler. Look them up on the website, but I just thought I'd let you know as Hannah's just spotted that. Thanks for letting us know. Um, very useful. Oh. Now, talking of rulers, when we're talking about your stripologies and your different rulers, it's really important that you saw them right because, I mean, the rulers are a bit of a cost. They cost a lot of money, not going to lie. And I know a lot of people have a multiple rulers. You don't just stick with the one. So having a ruler rack on your desk, ready to go, you can see what you've got, but they are ideal to keep them stored safely. I like the fact that this is a really lovely um, neutral colour, so it's going to go in everybody's workroom, but also you could decorate it if you want. You could paint it. Hannah would be painting this bright orange. Now, if you've got smaller rulers, brilliant. £10.99 for four slots. £10.99. I would never normally do this. But I'm going to go rogue. I'm going to do a Debbie Shaw. Debbie Shaw does this. I'm quite nervous about going rogue, but I'm going to just channel my inner Debbie Shaw and say, don't buy it. This is what Debbie Shaw would say, because this is such great value. The price on this is brilliant. So this is now um, your five slot larger Millwood ruler rack. So you're thinking, right, okay, it's double the size. Surely it's got to be double the price. Let me see how big it actually, I think it is double the size. Yeah, double the size. Therefore, double the price. Agreed? No, I have no idea why this is only a pound more. It's definitely worth getting this one because it is ideal to be able to keep all of your rulers. It's for one, two, three, four, five slots in there. You don't need to keep just your big rulers. It's not just uh, for your large rulers. You can keep your smaller ones as well. It's ideal just to keep them nice and safe. And it's £11.99. Um, we really shouldn't be looking at that price point. Maybe if you haven't got as much space yet, get the smaller one. I tell you what, they're both good value. I honestly thought though this would be double the price. I thought this would be over 20 pounds. Brilliant value at 11 pounds 99. Uh, these rulers, we'll talk about as well. If you haven't already heard of Creative Grid, if you've got a rotary cutter at home or if you're starting out quilting, we'll talk more about Creative Grid in the next hour. Um, Absolutely make the most of that whilst it's there. We're going to come back with the panels. Loads of you have already stocked up on the web. Uh, have a look at the, the speak to the customer service team over the next few minutes about the, the glue refills. I'll keep an eye on those and see when they go onto the web shop. But we've got loads coming up, plus the 780 plus. Stay with us. The panels are going to be up right after this. Would you like to take part in our weekly competition? If you do, then all you have to do is head to the Sewing Street fan page group on Facebook. Post your picture of your make. Myself, Debbie Shaw and John Cole Morgan love looking at all of your makes every week. We pick our favourite and announce the winner every Friday live on the show. Happy sewing and good luck.
Hello there, I'm Debbie Shaw and I would love you to join me on the first Monday of every single month for Sewing Street Surgery. Now this is a dedicated hour where I answer your questions and that could be questions about techniques, it could be questions about tools, it could be questions about new products or maybe something that you've seen that you just don't understand. There's a lot of questions about tensions on sewing machines and there's a lot of questions about working with different weights of fabrics. So if you have a question that you'd like to ask me, the easiest way to bring your question over to us is to go to our Facebook page and post your question on there. I will collate all of those questions throughout the week. If we need any new products for you or if we need any new demonstrations, those will all be worked on leading up to that first Monday of the month. So do join me, Debbie Shaw, on Sewing Street Surgery on the first Monday. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers Landing Page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the Watch Live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Hello and welcome. We love hearing from you and we really hope that you can follow us on our social media platforms. We've got Instagram, which is at Sewing Street. Uh, we have Facebook. We've got two Facebook pages. One is the Sewing Street TV page and the other one is Sewing Street Fans. All three of these are monitored all the time by our t wonderful team. And if you want to message us on air, Drop us a line on either of those three and we'll definitely be able to answer your questions that you may have. If you post on the actual wall, we can perhaps answer there. Otherwise, message us as well. That works really, really well. Thank you so much for being involved. And it's only because of this community that we're able to bring you all these different diverse products and to be able to answer your questions that you may have. Another way you can stay in touch with us is by signing up to our newsletter. These newsletters are sent out to you very regularly and they include not only our guest profiles of upcoming guests, but also amazing uh, shows that we've got coming up for you. And if you want to look at the amazing products before everybody else, that's the best way to do it. If you'd like to sign up and you haven't already, the link to follow is www.sewingstreet.com forward slash sign up. You won't regret it. Thank you. Welcome back. How is everybody? I hope you're having a lovely Tuesday morning. I actually am very proud of myself that I know the day today. Oh, now you've made me um, wonder. Kaz just said, is it Tuesday? Yes, it's Tuesday. This is the first day I've ever known what day it is today. I was thinking, oh, I've just about got myself into a bit more of a, bit, a routine of knowing the days of the week, but um, no. Right, are you ready? Uh, we've been talking about these for the last hour. I've tried to... I've tried to not show you. I've tried to resist, but I had to keep showing you because I love these. I, I, there's one I haven't shown yet. I am absolutely going to get all three. I love these and it's so useful. If you've made a quilt for somebody as a gift, please, please, please put a quilt label in because especially I, I've, the, re the most recent quilt I've made was a little uh, baby quilt for my new little nephew. And I think it's so nice to just put the date and uh, who, so, who sewn with love from Auntie Vicky. And it's just so nice for them to remember it for years, hopefully. Um, these are brilliant though, because look, you've got sizes for everything, every project, because let's face it, you're not all quilters. Maybe if you make a bag for somebody or a cushion for somebody, you've got lots of different sizes, lovely handmade, hand stitched with love. This is such a brilliant panel because I love lots of our panels that have got a couple of these smaller labels in there. Whereas this is brilliant. £7.99. So can I count how many different labels you've got here? Because you can do 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. You've got 27 labels in here. 27. You could use the smaller ones for your bags. I really like these ones as well. Love those. Love this. Hang on. Does it? So, no. The early bird pen. Right, so, hang on. Cat seems to think, should we, I don't know whether I can test it out on this, but I wasn't ready for this, if I'm being honest. The early bird special, apparently, if you iron it, it makes it permanent. Does it, cat? You always thought so. So you can write your quilt labels with it. If you iron it, it makes it permanent. I feel like I need to have a go. £7.99. I can't because I know how limited these are. £7.99. Have a go. Have a go. Have a go. But I do love the detail of these. They are absolutely gorgeous. Oh, look at the lovely wild flowers as well. Oh, I love it. It reminds you of what, sorry? Oh, the May Morris range. Oh, we love the May Morris range with all the beautiful flowers. What about the, cor the corner ones? They're interesting, aren't they? Maybe for an embroidery piece. Top corner, a back of a corner of a, a square project. The detail, and I must say, the quality of them as well. You can see the detail in the dandelions and the details in the, the really lovely... Um, the, the, these are all gorgeous, aren't they? Oh, yes, you do make a wish on dandelions. This is one thing I've noticed over the last few weeks on my walks as well, is that I never, ever looked down. I made a daisy chain the other day. And dandelions, making a wish on a dandelion. They're gorgeous. If it's a quilt to remember somebody, but I also really like these. I think these would be really lovely to do a nice message. Maybe it's on your embroidery machine, or as we say, it could be with one of the iron-on pens. £7.99. Just love them. I think they are amazing quality. There's something for everybody on there and something for every design. And I do think it's important for us to, uh, to, to of course, remember our projects and remember what, when we stitched them. Um, but yeah, great for if you've got an embroidery machine or embroidery a monogramming machine, um, then it's really good to be able to, to do um, your quilt labels on that really quickly. Okay, so that's the one colourway. There's loads of you that have got these in your basket. Please do check out multi -buyer fire with you on that. Do you want to see all of them first, maybe? We've got the pink up next. Pink up next, which is really pretty. I'd have to get all three. Then you've got something ready for all projects, haven't you? Because the neutral ones, of course, is going to go with everything. £7.99, brilliant price. That's so pretty. <laughs> Hannah has just said, do you know what, I always label my work because the thing is in hundreds of years when they find my work and find my quilts, it will be going in the VNA and they need to know that it's a genuine Hannah McCabe. How would they identify it? They're not going to be able to file it properly if there's no label on it. What's she like? It's true though, if you, I, that's what, exactly what I was thinking when I was doing um, my new little nephew's quilt, I was thinking, my word, like in years and years to come, like years to come, that label, you know, still be there. And I love that with the little message in it. £7.99. I've loved, especially, of course, over VE Day, looking at loads of old photographs and old footage on the telly. It's just so amazing just to remember. Whenever I've got some old photographs of family who, I, if I'm honest, I have no idea who they are. But there's also, like I found one that had a shopping list on the back of it and some really cool things like that. It's really nice to have nice memories. And even if you're, you're just thinking, right, this is my first ever quilt and I want to remember when I did it and it's my first quilt. Just for your own reference, even if you're not uh, gifting them, it's nice to label them, isn't it? To know when you're, when you're making them. Things like these, if you're sending maybe a gift to somebody uh, through the post, you're making a handmade project that's a gift for somebody and you just want to stitch in your little labels, you're stitched with love or made with love. They're really nice, aren't they? What's been your favourite lockdown project? Let me know. £7.99. 
Should we do uh, the rainbow one? <gasps> now, this is the one I haven't shown. I have not shown this. That's your classic um, quilt labels in pink. And then we've also got... They're really lovely quality as well, I must say. Um, this one is red, mustard and grey. Love this. Absolutely love that one. This is really contemporary, isn't it? It's something for everybody. I love the bunting around Made With Love. That's so cute. This I can imagine for, um, again, more contemporary quilts or kitchen makes and gifts for people. Putting the date on them. As you progress through your quilting, you can see your progression. If you date it, Yeah, do you know, sometimes Hannah was just saying, sometimes you get a project out and you think, oh no, I'm just, I'm not very good at this, I'm not doing this right. And then you get a, a, a previous project out and you think, actually, do you know what? I'm doing really well compared to how I were this time last year or a couple of years ago or last month even. So it's nice to have the dates on them to be able to see, oh, do you know what? I've learned so much in the last six months, so much. Seven pound 99. And remember, it will come like this. If you are multi-buying, which I know people are, a lot of people multi buy These are ideal. It's called quilt labels. But of course, think about other projects that you're making with love. £7.99 is good value, isn't it? £7.99 is really good value. And again, you've got the corner ones. If you're doing, I'm thinking like an embroidery piece. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 5, 6, 6, 7, 7, 7, 28. 28, this one's nice. If you're making kit bags for grandchildren or kids when they do go back to school, you know, ones that you put the plimp soles in that stay at school, at primary school, then these are ideal, aren't they? They're going to need labels in them. I, the amount of times when I was at school, I know I used to go home with the wrong kit bag all the time. Um, but these are great, aren't they? Look, it even has Stitch With Love. You can do a message and then buy and then the date. Great ones. Um, you might as well, Hannah, just do that one directly to the v &A. To the future, you can put. You're welcome. <laughs> to future me. Be proud of yourself. You've come a long way. Look at how bad my stitching is on this one. <laughs> $7.99. So that's your traditional mustard grey and pink. It's gorgeous. Very, very popular. Okay, what we're going to have a look is we're going to go back through it and see. I'll give you a chance to check out and then I'll do a stock warning and let you know availability as they are brand new today. Brand new court labels today. Okay. Right, I will give you a stock update shortly. Shall we have a look at the most amazing machine though? Right, first things first, when you're thinking about investing in a machine um, is for me, I think, is going with a reputable brand. You can obviously spend um, a small amount of money on a sewing machine and you can pay an absolute, well, uh, uh, this, uh, the, as, as much as a car on a sewing machine, you can pay thousands of pounds for a sewing machine. So you've got to work out what it is that, that you want from a, sh a machine and, uh, uh, and uh, of course, what your budget is, what part of your journey you're on. This isn't going to be the first machine you buy. If you've never sewn before or you're starting sewing, this isn't necessarily going to be, by all means, I know we all have different budgets, it could be, but I would think this is for somebody who may be upgrading, if you're thinking, if you've been thinking about getting a bigger machine, then this is more of a considered purchase, of course, but this is going to last the test of time this is going to grow with you and it's going to be something that you can virtually do everything that you want to do on it so and i'm calling across the boards i'm talking to quilters to dressmakers for people who sew for a living for people who sew for a hobby this is an amazing machine from elna the reputable brand is there they are not a new company they've been making machines for i think about 80 years 1940 i think it was um, and uh, they are under the same umbrella as Janome, so if you've heard of Janome as well, uh, they are a very, very reputable brand. So it ticks that box. This is a brand new machine to me, um, if I'm honest. I know it was only a new machine to us at Sewing Street in April. We've got an amazing relationship with Elna. You may have seen Jane, um, who who has come in, I know, and she's done some demonstrations with us on different machines. But Debbie did do a, a showcase where she did a whole hour, I believe, or, or, or a majority of the showcase, actually just going through everything on the machine. And that was on the 26th, 26th of April. 
it's an incredible machine. The first thing that I notice when I see this is the sheer size of it. It is a big machine. It is going to be something that I'm thinking maybe if you've got a designated sewing space, this will just stay where it is and you will leave it with a big, it comes with a massive extra uh, big extra sized um, extension table. Uh, but look at that. I mean, in comparison, oh, I've unplugged myself. Um, but if you've got, you know, that extra wide throat space, it is just going to really, really help if you're doing things like quilts or curtains, if you're doing blinds, soft furnishing, if you're doing dressmaking, it's going to be brilliant. So there are so many features and functions, as I say, too many to go through with you now. But if you do just want to know what it is that this machine does, the features and functions, um, I've got a bit of a, a slide to show you. So there it is. So, as I mentioned, you've got that extremely large workspace, long arm design and wide throat space, plus you do get included as well your extra long sewing machine, your extra wide sewing machine, which obviously that is really good if you're doing ruler work or if you're doing bits and bobs like um, uh, free motion embroidery. I would just keep the table on all the time. It supports the needle bed and it's gonna be ideal for that. It's got the jewel feed, ooh, it's doing a noise now. Uh, the dual feed plus system as well, which is designed to, to, to be able to go through multiple layers seamlessly. It's like having a built-in walking foot, basically. Uh, you've got the professional HP and HP needle, which is high performance, isn't it? Foot, it's not HP Saws or Harry Potter. It's not Harry Potter. <laughs> um, but it means that high performance foot and needle plate will mean that you can go very, very quick, very slow, very pr precise for lovely intricate stitching, whether it be your top stitching, whether it be your, uh, your piecing, it's extremely accurate. As I said about your extension table, uh, the ruler work capacity is brilliant. Uh, the adjustable ruler foot enables you to stabilize rulers and templates. It comes with it and you can pay a lot for that addition. If you start to look at a machine that you want to add ruler work to it, you can pay hundreds of pounds to get the rulers in the right feet, which is brilliant. Free motion quilters, you will love this. Yes, you've got the big extension table. It also has four special presser feet for uh, just solely using uh, for uh, free motion. So there's something for everybody. It's also got memorized quilting seaming function for efficient stitching and large number of blocks in the same size. Anything to make our lives easier and to make our, our work very, very precise. Um, which I think you, you do actually see in your end result. I was borrowing a machine uh, from my mom for a long time when I first started sewing and I quickly outgrown it because Hannah and I, we used to always say, and Hayley, we used to say, we felt let down by our machine. It didn't quite do what we wanted to do. I don't think my work is as good because of my machine. I blame my machine a lot. But the thing is, when I come in to here and I get to play with these machines, it, it doesn't sew for you, but it, it does everything that you want it to do. It tells you if you've got the wrong foot on, or you, it will guide you which foot you need for what stitch. It will tell you, uh, it will automatically sort of default to the correct stitch width and stitch length for that foot. It does it for you. It's a computerized machine, but it's user friendly. Now, of course, it's a lot of money. It's not going to be for everybody. But if you are at that point of, you know, that of course we're on a different journey aren't we if you've got the budget to do it and you're on that part of your journey that you're upgrading your machine it is a brilliant machine i love the the, the size of the screen the lcd touch screen uh, screen makes it very user friendly it makes it easy to navigate around the machine to choose your stitches you do get a little stylus as well it's very very clear you've got some great pictorial stitches and can you see as i'm flicking through these stitches it tells me what foot i need to use it you can also it does um, automatically default as i say to uh, whichever stitch length and stitch width you want but you can override that if you want to make it longer you can mirror it you can do all sorts with it there it's all on the screen ready to go you've got monogramming you've got alphabets you've got all sorts but as soon as i change to the next page circles there's different patterns my needle was jumping across it was defaulting can you see that so when i go back to my utility stitches from my decorative 
I do. Now you also get so many accessories that come with this machine. As I say, you do get your huge extension table, which is, I mean, big extension table with screw on legs. If you have the space to do it, I would just keep that on at all times. It's gonna give you extra space. Let's have a look at some of the other standard accessories that you get. I mean, whoa, that is a lot of accessories. You get your standard foot, your old hem foot, your zipper foot, your satin stitch foot, an open toe satin stitch foot, your blind hem foot, overlock foot, quarter of an inch seam foot, quarter of an inch seam foot with quilting guide, open toe darning foot, free motion quilting, closed toe foot, as I said, there's four different free motion foots. You've got open toe, you've got quilting zigzag free motion foot, uh, variable zigzag foot, ruler work foot, automatic buttonhole with stabilizing plate, buttonhole sewing foot, dual feed, AD and holder, wide type. Uh, you've got the professional grade quarter of an inch seam foot, the high performance one. There's so many different accessories. A, st a straight stitch needle plate, your decorative needle pla uh, stitch plate as well. Circular sewing pivoting pin, so you can do amazing circle quilting with it. It's brilliant. Oh, also towards the bottom, just above where it says instructional DVD, stitch composer software comes with this machine. That is brilliant. Because it means that you can start to build up your own stitches. You could do maybe your own logos and monogramming. You can load them directly into the machine. There is a USB on the side of the machine. So if you're, for example, you've got your own company and you've got uh, workwear that you want to, to do your stitching on, you could build your own stitches. I mean, that is amazing, isn't it? It's not an embroidery machine, but it has a memory function to be able to do, uh, of course, uh, a sequence of stitches to create whatever you want. It's amazing, it really is. Uh, £1,999 comes with the uh, the Elna from, the, the warranty from Elna. You also will get a YouTube link exclusive from Jane. Uh, Jane works for Elna and she has already been in and she's recorded uh, a video which will be sent to you if you purchase this machine. Uh, she does normally do a workshop day with you, but obviously at the, the current times we can't be doing workshops. So she's done you a video instead, going through all the features and functions, which is lovely. I'm very, very grateful for that. Uh, and also it is exclusive to us in the UK. So if you were thinking about upgrading, and, and I know we do a lot of shopping around, we are so lucky that we've got this deal with Alna and we're offering full exclusivity as well. Just like with your Alna machines that you love, you've got all, of course, the speed variation, the speed control. You've got a memory function with your snips. You've got a presser foot up down. Uh, you've got the needle up down. You've got the lock in stitch. You've got reverse. You've got start and stop. So you can use this with or without the foot pedal. I must show you the foot pedal because it is huge. The great thing about it is that it's got the memory function uh, on the machine to be able to, to, to cut your thread. So it's got the memory for that. But look at the size of this. The size of your foot pedal, which is brilliant because I always lose mine. And it all just neatly packs away. I mean, you don't need to use that. Um, but yeah, it is all underneath if you, if you think you haven't got your cable. Um, what else is it that I need to tell you about it? The standard accessories, I say, they all come in this brilliant little box, all nice and neat. There's so many <laughs> accessories. Extra needle plates, loads of bobbins, free motion feet, uh, extra needles as well. There's loads that comes with it as standard. If you are in that place where you are considering upgrading a machine to something that you're not going to need to upgrade again, let's face it. it. It is something that I think will be able to do everything you want. If you're a quilter, dressmaker, soft furnishing, curtains, anything that you're making, whether it be as a professional or a hobby, this is a really, really special machine. Um, please do watch the show back on the 26th of April as well, as Debbie did lots of stitching. She goes re uh, really detailed through the screen and the different options of what you can do with all of your different stitches. Uh, we've got another slide to show you, uh, just again taken off the Elna website, if you do want to have a look at it, you can. If you've got any questions, please get them in. And if I can't answer them on air, I'll find out and I'll get back to you. It's definitely worth getting in touch with us. Of course, we're a live interactive show. Let us know what it is you'd like to know. I haven't read that, sorry Kat. Uh, <laughs> 
I was chatting and I didn't even read the slide. So, computerized machine offering outstanding quality and ast astonishing number, uh, high level features. So you've got 350 stitches, 11 buttonholes, two alphabets, uh, and you can stitch, if you want fast sewing, it can stitch over a thousand stitches per minute. 1060 to be exact. It's a nine maximum, uh, nine millimeter maximum sewing width, which is brilliant if you do want to do some larger monogramming and bigger stitches, it's brilliant for that. As I say, that dual feed system is like having a built-in walking foot. Um, you notice when I knocked the lights off, how bright they are. I didn't realize how poor the lighting was on my sewing machine until I started to see Elna's. You've got nine LED lights that give you great daylight. So no matter what time you're working, whether it be into the night, you've got great daylight all the time. It's not going to get hot or not needing to change a load of bulbs. So I find that really handy. You also get, as I said, the stitch composer and the USB port so you can start creating it's the possibilities with this machine are endless they really are you're just going to be able to do lots of great projects get in touch with us if there are any questions that you have if there's anything you would like us to find out about the machine please let me know because I, if i don't know then i'll find out uh you do get a two-year warranty through elna with the machine uh your documentations might just take a little bit longer to come through as the people that do that are on furlough uh, but you will get that warranty documentation documentation through okay so keep in touch with me let me know what you'd like maybe you have this machine we want to hear from you what do you love about it it's it's a beast isn't it it's such an amazing it's a big machine and it's um i'm very excited to to hear from you about that one right do you know the roller backs that we saw at the beginning I know the one that I went rogue on. Um, the value for money on this is brilliant. Now, if you do want the smaller one, absolutely, please don't let me put you off. I wasn't being, you know, rude. If you have got a smaller space maybe and you don't have the room for the, the large one, absolutely go for that because that's £10.99. But for an extra pound, you get double the size. Double the size, store more rulers, keeping them safe. £11.99, five slots on there. The other one has four and the other one is half of the size and it's a pound less. So uh, logic to me just says it's an extra pound. You can't go wrong with this. Um, and it's really lovely quality as well. It's quite weighty actually. £11.99. Now, already absolutely flying out there's so many of you that have checked out of your basket let's talk about rulers though because um when i first started i think i was a bit overwhelmed by the amount of rulers that we had uh, and why i would use them and when i would use them and how to use them efficiently i picked a couple to show you because i'm a huge advocate of creative grid sometimes it can be a little overwhelming i understand so i thought i'd pick a couple just to show you i'm going to take this just so you can see did you see my koi carp then? Did you see them? I'm just going to put this very creased white fabric underneath, but it means you can see the markings a bit clearer. Creative grids are brilliant. Now, I'm going to, again, go rogue. I might as well. I've just done it with a ruler axe. I might as well stick on the same, uh, same level. Normally, when we're talking about marking tools, rotary cutters, anything we like to bring you with sewing machines we like to bring you a variety because we're on different parts of our journey we all like different things about different products or different brands when it comes to rulers i would only really suggest creative grid now that's me personally i know that that is my opinion that is risky as a presenter to do something like that because we will get other brands of rulers and i will tell you their features and functions Personally, from my experience of working in the sewing world and seeing a lot of people who have come in and used rulers and have tried different rulers and then used creative grids and knowing how amazing they are, I can't recommend them enough. I'm not gonna say any more, but there are reasons. They have got the most incredible non-slip grip feature, which I know uh, those of you that know creative grid, you already know all this, so bear with me. This has got this frosted, uh, out perimeter it's also got the frosting that goes you can see all the way through there you go you can see all the way through across the ruler and, and that's not a sticker that's put on it's not sticky it's not going to stick to your fabric it's built into the ruler it's not going to peel off and that will help well you can freely move over your fabric but as soon as you apply pressure it is going to help you with your precision 
keeping it where it is, it's not going to slip and slide over your fabric, and also with safety. You're working with a rotary cutter, you're working with a blade, so I love that about Creative Grid. If you are, you've done all your piecing, you use this square, of course, to then square up your blocks. You want, that is so important. That end result is so important. Imagine cutting the wrong place and cutting all the way through it after all of that hard work of piecing. When you're squaring up your blocks, which this size is ideal for, um, up to eight inch blocks you can square. So that's what I love about it. It's not gonna slip and slide. You've got the accuracy and you've got the time. Also the triangle that we have, is one of my favorites. This is the 60 degree triangle and you can cut up to eight inch triangles right from one inch, two inch, three inch, four inch, five inch, six inch, seven inch, and eight inch triangles. You've got your quarter of an inch seam allowance all the way around the edge. You've got your 60 degree, you've got your 60 degree shape. You can see little things. They're made by quilters, designed by quilters, especially for quilters. So they've thought about that. They've thought about nipping off the top of it so it reduces the bulk. There's loads that you can do with this. Now, whether it be, I've stolen these from John Cole Morgan. Thank you, John. Um, whether you are doing, look at this, this is so cool. I had to show you this. Of course, with triangles, you can make them into hexes and have a bit of a play with patterns and fussy cutting and positioning of fabrics to start create great quilts. So yes, from triangles, you can make hexes. Uh, and it's almost like a kaleidoscope, yeah, isn't it? I love that effect. But you can keep doing that and make your own quilt designs, or you could just do one and make it into sort of placemats. We've got this fabric in a bit, the toucan fabric. But I see that so differently to how I do the half metre toucan fabric. I'm focusing, it's lovely to see the focus on the flowers in the centre, it creates secondary patterns. Really, really fun indeed. You can make lots of different sizes as well. It doesn't need to be up to the eight inch, you can do smaller ones. Um, yeah, there again, focusing on different, different parts of the fabric and how different it can look. And what I then did, the great thing about, because they're see-through, you can fussy cut and you can position them where you want. Creative Grid have got loads of uh, different demonstrations with their QR code. They've also got YouTube channels. People on Pinterest are always sharing different ideas. They're called Creative Grids for a reason. So you can get creative. You can get really creative. So I thought, right, okay, do you know what? I've got all this time, I'm gonna try and get a bit creative. And I found a video online, um, which was to make a Magic Lantern quilt. You've seen this already, but when you think, oh, this is a triangle ruler, actually you can create blocks like this very, very easily from literally a square. I'll show you very, very quickly what I did because I'm very proud of it. I've got my triangle, which I've cut out. Then this is half, it talks you through, there's loads of instructions. You've got your quarter of an inch line so you can butt up against whichever one you want. And then I cut that again, that was my second one, that was step two. I then cut those into strips, two inch strips. You can see like that, just cut them all up. And then I spun them round, turn them all around. So then this one would have been next. Sew them together. You do that twice and that creates this. I mean, it's so effective. Sorry, it's slightly creased. Um, it's been uh, transported here, there and everywhere. But I'm very proud of it. You could then do a quilt, a Magic Lantern sort of style quilt. You could have it as a cushion front. You could have it as all sorts. I'm very excited for you to get your creative grids home and see what you can do. Uh, every week, we've always got our eagle eyes on the, um, on the Facebook fan page. And it's so good to see your makes of the week. So I'm looking forward to seeing some 60 degree triangle ruler designs maybe on there. Uh, right. Hello, Wendy. Oh, hello, Wendy Orlando. Go on then. What is she saying? She said, good morning, Hannah. Hannah's back. Welcome back. Loving the show. Already got a lighter purse now. May have added a few of the pens to my basket. They're great value, aren't they? Go on. <laughs> I love your style, Wendy. She says, Vix, why have two when you can have six? Do you know what? That is my feelings exactly. Do you know when I was talking about the biscuit analogy and I said, well, why have one when you can have two? I am more, uh, yeah, I mean packets. Why have one packet when you can have two packets of biscuits? 
We're talking about the uh, early bird, by the way. The uh, If you missed it at 8 o'clock today, we've got plenty in stock. We've got hundreds, but they are already going very quickly because people like Wendy Orlando are stocking up and getting six pens. I'm not surprised. Two of your fabric markers, air erasable. Wendy Orlando, you'll know the answer to this. If I iron on that, will that make it permanent? No, you're right. Do not iron or hot wash any pen pencil mark before removal as heat may set the, uh, the mark permanent. So I don't think it's designed to be one of those pens that you iron and it makes it permanent, not like the, uh, the felt tip pens, the fabric pens that we had before. It is designed as a wipe off fabric maker, but I think it can do the same. Don't take my word for it. It may or may not be permanent. So if you don't want those lines to stay there, don't iron it, wipe them off first. That's a good point, actually, though, because if I do all of my crosshair on my uh, quilting or my quilting patterns or something on a uh, crosshatch, crosshair, crosshatch on my um, quilting, um, <laughs> on my um, quilt, and then I uh, give it a good press, it might leave the marks there before I wash it. So just be aware of that. Good point. Good point. Right, rotary cutters. If you're working with a rotary, if you're working with Creative Good Rulers, you'll need a rotary cutter. Now, this is the one that I've got. This is the one, again, that I find, I find this the easiest to use, but I think it's because I'm really used to it. So John Cole Morgan likes the, the one where you slide up the Millwood one. It's personal preference. It's what you find the easiest and the most comfortable and the safest for you. The reason I love this is because it's completely locked. I'm trying to squeeze the grip and it's completely locked unless you press that red button. So then the blade's release, but it's really easy. I've just got into such a habit of using it and pressing the button as I finish the cut. And I really do recommend you do that. It's got a lovely soft grip. It's gonna be brilliant. It's alpha, so you know the quality is great. It's something that we will always restock, we'll always have available. But if you are starting out, as I know so many people are, we always talk about it with quilting, but have you watched The Great British Sewing Bee? Loads of dressmakers using rotary cutters. Lots of dressmakers using them. Also have a Fiskars option. Now, Fiskars have been a household brand name for years and years and years and years and years and years and years. So they are very renowned for their cutting tools. What I like about this, um, it, it looks a bit peculiar, doesn't it? It doesn't look like uh, your standard rotary cutter. Now, you can use it like your standard rotary cutter, but if you want to cut through multiple layers, if you're going through heavier weight fabric or you're going through lots of layers, if you put it to this position, then you're able to use more of your body weight to be able to get over the top of the rotary cutter. And I, I think it puts sort of less strain on your wrist and less pressure on your wrist. So that's really handy if you're going through different uh, multiple layers. It's also got a third and a fourth position. Now I asked, uh, Karen, who works for Fiskars, why would I use it like that? Because that looks peculiar. And she actually said, if you're doing a curve, it almost gives you more of a natural curve in your wrist. Um, so they're great for, for cutting curves as well. And you've got four different, four different pivoting um, options, basically. £21.99. Left or right-handers can use both of those rotary cutters. Currently, we've only got 11 of those in stock. We'll get more. We'll get more, but um, make the most of it as soon as you can. It's just waiting for our deliveries to come in at the moment. Uh, right. The, the Millwood mat is the one that you see on screen all the time. Don't use a rotary cutter without a cutting mat. Don't try something different. It is definitely worth getting the biggest cutting mat that you possibly can. Um, I, that was one of the first things I was told, and it is actually really, really, really handy to... to to take that advice and go for it. If your space can allow it, go for the biggest size mat you can. Because if you're doing things like your stripology, you will need a bigger mat than the stripology ruler because you want to make sure you can cut all the way through your strips. Um, it's just nice to be able to have that surface. It's really great to be able to have this huge size. It is a double-sided mat and it will be transported to you and delivered to you still with that one postage and packaging of £3.95 which is great, sorry postman, um, but it's, it is fantastic that you've got it at that post uh, postage and package price. 
yeah, you've got so many great measurements on there um, in inches and in centimetres. You've also got your 60 degree line, your 45 degree line, your 30 degree line. So if you're doing diamonds, if you're cutting strips into hexes or diamonds, then that's going to really help with that as well. Um, love this mat, self-healing cutting mat, so it's going to last the test of time. But definitely go with the biggest that you can. Even if it's something you don't keep out all the time, store it under your bed or store it under the sofa um, or, or a puzzle. <laughs> okay. Use it as a puzzle mat, $37.99. I'm using your, um, whose who's puzzle mat is it that you've lent me? It's Terry's. It's Terry Wilcox. I'm using their roll-up puzzle mat. Doesn't know I've got it. <gasps> it will come back. It was opened. It, I haven't opened it. It was definitely opened. Maybe Joe and Liam have used it when they did it. I'm still doing my puzzle. It's taken me weeks and weeks and weeks. We've all got one of those puzzles, haven't we? You just need to shove it under the sofa when you're bored of looking at it. Um, right, so that's the cutting mat. Uh, most popular quilt label is this one. I think, now it says plain black, but it's just a great neutral one, isn't it? Uh, ideal if you're doing uh, any gifts for people, just to keep in your stash, $7.99, ready to go. I, I, I really like these. These are almost like memorial ones, aren't they? They're beautiful. If you are making a memory quilt. I also really like, see the one there, the, uh, the hoop. I wonder whether, now I'm... <laughs> I'm sort of just thinking out loud, if I, but do you know when you can get the photograph, um, you could almost like print a photograph in the center of it. Or you could do an embroidery design. You don't need to even write anything on it. You could do one of your stitches if you've got embroidery that you want to do in the middle of that. So there's loads that you can do. And the stitch with love, made with love, handmade by. I like the dandelion as well. Look at that. That's the detail in the printing is really gorgeous. It really high quality printing. You can see the detail in all of the flowers. Which one's your favourite, Hannah? Like the dandelion. Like the idea of making a wish. You like the one with the checks around them? Yeah, they are nice. Quite kitschy, aren't they? Or yeah, unisex as well. Ah. Yeah, they're really nice. Seven pound ninety nine. Brand new in today and flying out already, flying out. Now I've got another brand new, brand new storage box. Um, we all love a bit of storage. I uh, keep asking everybody to send pictures of their stash. Want to see uh, how, how do you store your spools or how do you um, store all of your fabric? This is a a great thread organiser. At the moment, the only way of getting this one, I believe, is on the website. I don't think we've got the graphics live for it, but you can fit 27 spools. They've all got their individual spool pins. You'll be able to fit your, your Gutemann's, um, I'm guessing, I, don't, I haven't got any here. But, oh, have I? Oh, thank you. So your normal Gutemann threads, these are gonna all fit perfectly in there. If you go onto our web shop, uh, which is sewingstreet.com, then you can go straight through and purchase it. I mean, that's where you'd buy it anyway, unless you're calling the customer service team. So there it is. I, I know it says Jewelry Maker, it's our sister channel. Uh, if you touch the, search the item code, which is GEZW26, if you search that in that top bar and then click the little magnifying black glass, um, I wonder if we, I'll show you right from the start because uh, it, it is quite interesting actually to see how to buy on the web because it changes every day as we're loading new products in, as we're getting brand new stock in uh, and what you see when you search the website will change literally every day. So it's good to show you. Those of you that are on the free phone line number, uh, you can also speak to the team, but it's really lovely and easy to actually do online. So if you go to sewingstreet.com, um, I think we can show you, hopefully, yeah. Thank you, Kat. She's just trying to work out how to get it onto the screen. She says, it's a bit fiddly, we'll bear with her. Uh, sorry, Kat, putting you on the spot. There we are. So this is sewingstreet.com. Um, gosh, that's a nice close-up personal to John's jelly roll. If you click play, that will play live. Uh, you'll hear me talking uh, over and over and over again, so we won't click play. But then underneath, you can also subscribe to our mailing list so you can see the latest news, you can see what's going on. And then if you shop our catalogues, you can find something via there, or you can see underneath 
On the second page will be the spools, but you can see there's the sewing machines we've seen. That's page number two. There we go, £4.99. Next to the ruler rack, next to the ruler rack, which by the way is absolutely flying out. So then, £4.99, you click add to basket, uh, and then you can continue shopping or check out. You check out as many times as you want. So if you've already checked out, that delivery is capped once. It'll only be charged at the end of the day. So you can keep purchasing as much as you like and checking out as much as you like and still only pay one PMP. Um, I've also got some extra spare bobbins. These are brilliant to just have. How many times do you run out of thread on your bobbin and it's so annoying to then have to wind another bobbin up? If you've got all of your blacks or all your whites or all your greys or your neutrals, your pinks, whatever you use the most of, it's worth, I think, having a few of them ready to go. Before you start a project, just wind all your bobbins, they're there, ready to go, and have quality ones as well that aren't going to break your machine. Aren't going to be a nightmare, basically. We all have had those rogue bobbins, haven't we? Uh, £8 for all 10 Janome bobbins. So these are going to work with, with your Elna machine as well. They will, um, as I said earlier on, Janome is under the same umbrella as Elna, so they'll fit in your Elna machine. It is quite good to match with the brand, I think. So I would get Janome for, for if you've got an Elna. It fits with it, so it's definitely worth getting the same brand if I were you. Ten of them for eight pounds. Um, be what, sorry? Yeah, we've got the stars and the spots. Now, these bundles are very, 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 very popular indeed. We've got by the half metre. Rose and Hubble, do you want to start with the stars? The little ditzy stars, these are so gorgeous. Half a metre of your green. Half a metre of your rose. Half a metre of navy blue. Half a metre of lilac and half a metre of red. It's £18.99. I tell you what, the value for money on these Rose and Hubble fabrics are brilliant. Uh, now, these are poplin weight, so they're slightly lighter weight than your normal quilting cotton. It's absolutely fine. You can still quilt with it. You can still do your patchwork. You can still mix it with any of your solid quilting fabrics, but um, just so you're aware, it might feel a bit different when you're quilting with it. £18.99 for all of these. Let me show you, half a metre is 112 inches wide and it looks like this. Whoops. So if you're buying, multi-buying, they're already pre-cut. They are already pre-cut. I do like that little ditzy star. I mean, that is a lot of fabric. If you're making smaller projects, you're gonna be able to make loads. <laughs> £18.99, even if you're mixing it in with some of your designer fabrics, if you've got maybe one of the Moda ranges, the stars, um, which one was that called? The uh, Mickinac Island. That would look really nice with that. Oh no. Whether you use them all together or where they are, whether they're just stash builders, it's a great chance to get them out. What about, is it about three pound ninety nine and a half meter? I mean, that's such good value, isn't it? I mean, normally, obviously you could be paying up to sort of eight pound and a half meter. It's still such great color, uh, such great quality. 18 pounds 99 for two and a half metres, you've got five half metres. Oh, even less than I thought, 3.79 and a half metre. Remember, every half metre is two fat quarters. You are at a price point that you do not see for fat quarters. Um, that is amazing. £1.62 a fat quarter? That's unbelievable. Absolutely make the most of that. When you break it down and you realise actually the value for money in it, the Rose and Hubbles are the one. Great value. We've also got the spot bundle. So we've got two blues, a lilac, a rose and a turquoise. £18.99 for your poplin weight. So again, slightly lighter than your quilting cotton weight, but it's so beautifully soft. Brilliant if you're, what about, like you were saying, Hannah, about making laptop bags, cases, purses, makeup bags. Bunting, so pretty. Just 
Same price again, value for money, whether you're looking at it by the half metre or whether you're looking at it in terms of fat quarter. $18.99, it's lovely. What about curtain tie backs? Oh, $86.40 in the middle. Which have we spotted? It came back into stock yesterday. I can't believe I wasn't here. I was so excited when I heard that it was coming back in stock and it came back in yesterday. You can use it for that kind of thing. Definitely shop for that on the web. Have a look. We'll see if we can bring it um, before the end of the show. £18.99 for your cotton poplin, rose and Hubble spots. And I'll tell you what, if you've got this quilt label panel, this is the pink one. This would go lovely with these colourways. Quarter of a stock of pink has gone. And I would definitely put that with um, your Rose and Hubble. $7.99, exclusive to us here at Sewing Street. And there's now less than 50. There is now less than 50. Handmade, hand stitched with love, made with love. Aren't they gorgeous? Just be aware. The neutrals, I'm calling it, it's called black, but it's, it's, it's called, you mean this one? Uh, well, I'm calling it kind of neutrals because, yes, it's black, but I also don't want that to put you off going with lighter fabrics. It's kind of neutral, isn't it? I think this would go with everything. There's less than 25 of these lungs. There's less than 25, and they were brand new today. Very limited indeed. First time I've seen the stained glass window panels. Let's bring them on. Okay, you need to tell me the code, I think, Hannah. Because she's here, she can. Normally, over the last, how many, how many weeks now have you been from home? Or months, I should probably say. It's been ages, it's so nice to have you back. It's been two months. Okay. So, stained glass window. Countryside, it's in a bundle, I believe, or is there a panel? And then there's an option of getting the the colours as well. <gasps> oh, oh, I've never seen this. Oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. They are gorgeous. Right, ignore that word Easter because this isn't just for Easter. Um, Hannah said, I missed Easter. She said, I wanted to bring it back, but this isn't just for Easter, is it? I love this. So you could do some really cool quilting on this and it would look almost like you've um, pieced all those pieces together as well. The colours are lovely, aren't they? What about twin needling along the black lines? What about free motion over the top of it? Just detailing. That is a timeless design and colours, isn't it? And you could do some, a really quick, simple quilt for that. If you want, don't get me wrong, quilting, you always think, oh my word, it's going to take me months and months and months. Whereas actually, this could be a weekend project of making this into a quilt. It's a sheep. Look, it's a lamb. And look at the daffodils. You could do some hand uh, sewing over the top, like embellishing, couldn't you? That would be so lovely. You could embroider. Bit of um, gold work on the, uh, the daffodils, maybe. Love that. Ignore that it's Easter because this is actually brilliant for all year round. For su spring and summer, that's lovely. It's £12.99. And we've also got a complimentary bundle. So if you want to put a border on it, or if you want to make some cushions to go with, or if you want to use it for maybe back... Uh, is, is it by the half metre or is that a bundle? So they're half metre each. Half a metre of your yellow, which is beautiful. Again, it goes really well. But I tell you what, that is a lovely bright bundle anyway, isn't it? Thinking panel at the top. Have you got a big farmhouse kitchen? Because this is what we're imagining. Farmhouse kitchen, if you've got a wooden bench, you've got your scatter cushions on your wooden bench. Wall hanging above, bring a bit of sunshine on a gloomy day. Okay, of course, let's talk about some food. We've got bacon sandwich cooking. We've got uh, croissants maybe on the way. Like the sound of this. Maybe you've got a, a, a fancy coffee, like a cafetiere one. Oops. And uh, the radio's on. This would be lovely, wouldn't it? There's so many people who are checking out on the complimentary bundle. I think it's so lovely just on its own as well. What's that? Radio station. The Archers. They're not doing it during lockdown, though. 
Oh, I've been getting into podcasts. I quite like listening to podcasts. Ten pounds ninety nine, half a meter of your green, uh, and can you see it's got a sort of like a texture. It's almost like a mottle effect, and then you've got the solid blue, which is beautiful sky blue. Again, they go really, really well with the uh, the stained glass window, but they are our solids. The next panel that we've got, I've got it. The only other one. Oh, these daffodils are gorgeous. Oh my word, I love that. I love that vase. If Kieran's watching, that's the vase that I mean. I, I really want like a lovely big vase like that with artificial flowers in. And that's exactly what I've had in mind. Oh God, isn't that gorgeous? Maybe I'll just have to have, well, I could just have this. I can just have this. That would look so lovely on the wall. Or on, I think this would be great draped over the back of an armchair. Let me lift this up halfway so you can see the detail. <gasps> oh, that's so lovely, isn't it? Is it like Delph or Westwood or, you know, the blue and white pottery? Very popular indeed. £12.99, fill with daffodils as well. Just £12.99 for your full panel. It's exclusive to us as well. The daffodils look amazing. I really like the sort of stained glass effect. Because they could have easily just done, you know, daffodils in chunks, but no, it's, there's a lot of detail, really thought, a lot of thought gone into the design of this one. £12.99. And then the complimentary bundle to go with. So first time I've seen these, they're only launched over Easter weekend. Um, so you've, you're lucky to get another chance of this. So then your complimentary bundle is again that lovely bright yellow. And this has got that mottle, mottle effect. Am I saying the right word, mottle? I like the word, but I don't know whether it was the right word that, to use at the time. But it is like, um, you can kind of see it on telly. It's just got a very almost 3D, 3D what? Custard. 3D custard. Hannah's back, everybody. <laughs> or the sun, you know, the nice, the bright sun. Or like the daffodil petals, it's beautiful. Um, navy blue, half a metre of navy, navy blue, now that is solid, and half a metre of, oh, what's that one? Is that classed as grey or? £10.49, half a metre meter of each, and they are designed to complement the daffodil stained glass window, but a lovely bundle anyway, that blue goes really nice with the, uh, the dark blue that you can see there in the corner. This is the great thing, you know, about when we put together bundles or complementary things is that our team are, of course, experienced in that. They're, that's that's what they do. So if I go into a fabric shop and I've got my stained glass window panel in my head and I'm thinking, is that the right blue to go with it or is that yellow going to go with it? I know that I need the colour like custard, but I don't know whether that's the right one. <laughs> At least it's been done for you. If you've got Hannah describing what you need, you've got no chance. No chance. You're not going to get anywhere near the right colour. I would know that is not custard. <laughs> daffodil. It's daffodil. Okay. So... There's your complimentary bundle. I don't know why, where the time has got. Shall I just quickly mention as well, go on, Hannah. The hexes, where we've put them somewhere. We've got so much today. They're not the Fabies ones, are they? They are the Fabies ones. They're the one inch hexes. They just come in a bag like this. Um, they're all Pre-cut, laser cut, £5.99. Three quarters of the stock has already gone this morning. Don't be fooled by the website. It's uh, not just one giant hexi that you need to cut out, saying one inch. Uh, no, they're already laser cut. It will come just like this and you get a hundred of them. Ready to go, EPP, especially, I think we're supposed to get nice weather again next week. It'd be nice to sit in the garden and do a bit of hand stitching, wouldn't it? <gasps> Hope so. Um, what was it, sorry, Hannah? I'm with you. Refills, at the moment they're still not on the web yet. Um, we were very eager trying to get these on for you. We uh, wanted to make sure that they came 
on air, but they haven't even made it to our web shop yet. So you will need to call the customer service team, but just making you aware they're back in stock at the moment. Loads have already checked out. 0800 001 443. It's free to call. Our customer service team are literally a mile down the road from us and they are amazing. Obviously, there's not as many people in the customer service team. So please do bear with us on the phone line. But you're getting six. It's definitely worth hanging on a couple of minutes on the phone line to get hold of those as Cat bought three refills for nine pounds before uh, when we didn't have them in. Uh, today, you're getting all six of these for six pounds 99. And the glue pen that it works in conjunction with is this one, although it does work with the prim, does work with the prim glue pen as well, because that's the one that Cat has. So then the glue pen, it already comes with one in there and it also comes again with an extra refill. It's £5.99. Why have one when you can have two? Or as Wendy said, why have two when you can have six? If you've already got one, it's worth just having one in your pencil case, maybe one for in the garden and one for upstairs by your bed. So if you're just doing some sticking and, uh, you know, doing a little bit of hand sewing before you go to sleep. Just six pa just six pound, five pound ninety nine is great value again. The... Quilt labels. Now, when it says traditional, it's this one. I would say these were like the most contemporary, actually. I think it's because it's traditional quilting patterns on them. I like the hexy one. Can you see that one would be great for your EPP, wouldn't it? You stitch with love with the hexes. Especially when you've spent the time, if you're doing hand piecing, it's nice to, or, well, any sewing, whether it took you 10 minutes or whether it took you a year to do. I think it's really nice to mark the date and do a little quilt label if it's a gift for somebody especially, but also just for your personal progress. Nice to see when you made something, especially during this strange time. Uh, I think it's nice to look back and remember what you did during the lockdown. £7.99. They are traditional red, mustards and greys. Check out your basket on any of those. I'll give you a couple of minutes to speak to the customer service team um, about those glue refills as well as they are now becoming quite limited. Have a good mooch on the web shop because there's loads on there. The 8640 is available. I don't know whether the stripology has gone, but have a look. If you've already opened your order, have a bit of a, a shop around as you'll still only pay one PMP. We're going to be back with another sewing machine, the 680 Plus, one of our favourites, plus lots of other goodies still to bring you in the next hour. I'll see you right after this. Hello there, I'm Debbie Shaw, and I would love you to join me on the first Monday of every single month for Sewing Street Surgery. Now, this is a dedicated hour where I answer your questions, and that could be questions about techniques, it could be questions about tools, it could be questions about new products, or maybe something that you've seen that you just don't understand. There's a lot of questions about tensions on sewing machines, and there's a lot of questions about working with different weights of fabrics. So if you have a question that you'd like to ask me, the easiest way to to bring a question over to us is to go to our Facebook page and post your question on there. I will collate all of those questions throughout the week. If we need any new products for you or if we need any new demonstrations, those will all be worked on leading up to that first Monday of the month. So do join me, Debbie Shaw, on Sewing Street Surgery on the first Monday. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping.
Hello and welcome. We love hearing from you and we really hope that you can follow us on our social media platforms. We've got Instagram, which is at Sewing Street. Uh, we have Facebook. We've got two Facebook pages. One is the Sewing Street TV page and the other one is Sewing Street Fans. All three of these are monitored all the time by our wonderful team. And if you want to message us on air, drop us a line on either of those three and we'll definitely be able to answer your questions that you may have. If you post on the actual wall, we can perhaps answer there. Otherwise, message us as well. That works really, really well. Thank you so much for being involved. And it's only because of this community that we're able to bring you all these different diverse products and to be able to answer your questions that you may have. Another way you can stay in touch with us is by signing up to our newsletter. These newsletters are sent out to you very regularly and they include not only our guest profiles of upcoming guests, but also amazing uh, shows that we've got coming up for you. And if you want to look at the amazing products before everybody else, that's the best way to do it. If you'd like to sign up and you haven't already, the link to follow is www.sewingstreet.com forward slash sign up. You won't regret it. Thank you. Would you like to take part in our weekly competition? If you do, then all you have to do is head to the Sewing Street fan page group on Facebook. Post your picture of your make. Myself, Debbie Shaw and John Cole Morgan love looking at all of your makes every week. We pick our favourite and announce the winner every Friday live on the show. Happy sewing and good luck. Hi, I'm Debbie Shaw from Sewing Street and these are my five top tips for successful sewing. So number one, always use a good quality thread. A good quality thread will keep your seam stronger and also help to prevent lint building up inside your sewing machine. Tip number two, if your project isn't going quite according to plan, put it down, walk away from it, come back again the next day and you'll probably find that things don't seem half as bad as they did. My tip number three, never throw away your sewing machine manual, always keep it to hand because you're going to find hints and tips, techniques and troubleshooting in that manual. You'll miss it if you lose it. My tip number four is to read your pattern instructions before you even cut out your fabric. Different manufacturers of patterns will give you different instructions, different ways of constructing your garments and different seam allowances. So to have a successful garment, you need to follow the instructions precisely. And then tip number five is don't give up. Every professional sewer sewed their first seam. Every professional quilter quilted their first quilt. Every professional quilter sewed their first line of wonky stitches and had to get out the quick and pick. That's no different to you. So I hope you find these useful. If you want more hints and tips, then why not go to Sewing Street on Channel 74 on Freeview, on Sky 670, and of course we have a YouTube channel where you can catch up on previous demonstrations. We'll see you soon. Welcome back, welcome back. We're still with you for another hour. Thank you so much for your company. Keep in touch with us. Please do message in. Let us know what you're up to. Um, we've got Hannah back. It's so lovely to have her back in. Right? She's ran up the stairs. She's upstairs in a, in a Rapunzel's tower at the moment. She says, I feel a lot like a princess stuck in a tower. Um, but it's lovely to have her back in my ear. We've got uh, lots of gorgeous fabrics to bring you. Lots of great uh, little gift ideas, buttons, and one of the most in exciting machines that I think that we'll ever bring you. I think this will be our flagship machine, you know. Obviously, when we get guest designers back in in the coming months and, and we're able to, uh, to do some live demonstrations, uh, of course, we have lots of different machines that we could work with. This, I think, will be our flagship machine. It's brilliant. This is the 6... 80 plus. Uh, it's from Elna again, so similarly to the, uh, the the machine that we had earlier on, but price is, of course, more affordable. It's 1099 which I still understand is considered, it's still a lot of money, uh, but it is a fantastic machine. There's so many people who I know own this machine, use this machine. You've probably seen it a lot. Uh, and if you are still on the, you know, do I, don't I, do I, don't I, 
please message in if there's any questions that you have, because I know we've spoken about it a lot. And we are at that point that maybe you're thinking, do you know what, I'm going to do it. I'm going to bite the bullet. And I'm, 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 t I'm thinking of taking my hobby into more of a profession or I'm wanting to expand what I can do. My machine only has so many stitches or I want to be able to do monogramming. This machine is fantastic to go into that next realm of sewing. And I mean, even though it's, Still a big machine. It's of course still a, a, a domestic machine. It's not industrial, it looks big, but it's still one that you could put away or you can have uh, on, on your, 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 your table. It's not light by any means, but it is for a big machine, I think one that a lot of hobbyist sewers have as well. Uh, so if you've seen the demonstrations on this, if you haven't, you can watch them back on our YouTube. Jane from Elna, she was here and she's talked through all of the amazing features and functions. I know a lot of people who have purchased this over the last few months. It's exclusive to us here in the UK. And I did go and ask Paul, who has been in contact, of course, with Elna. And due to all that's going on at the moment, we're still continuing to offer the extended warranty. I think it probably should have ended by now, but it's amazing. For anybody who purchased this today, you are also going to get an extra three years warranty. So it's up to five years warranty. Might take a little longer to get the paperwork through as the people who work at Elna on furlough, but they will be back and they of course will send you then your, your paperwork. Um, but let's talk through what the features and functions are of this machine to see whether it is the one for you. The amount of stitches on this machine is huge. You've got a huge array of utility stitches, buttonholes, uh, satin stitches on there. You've got a great array of applique stitches. You've got beautiful pictorial stitches. Uh, you've got, as I say, your monogramming. So you've got alphabets, you've got numbers on there as well. There are a huge array of stitches which are all on this little flap up, flap down stitch card at the top of the machine, so really quick and easy to access. Now it is a computerized machine and if that scares you, don't let it. Maybe you're used to one of those machines that's got a dial with nine stitches on. The great thing about this is that it is all built into the computer. Now, it will tell you what foot you need. You can see on the screen there at the moment, for the stitch that I've got, which is your default straight normal stitch, you have foot A. The, all of the other feet, I mean, you've got little compartments throughout the machine to store all your feet uh, from A, you've got all of your sort of main feet there, and then underneath at the bottom, there's a, a compartment to keep extra feet also. But if you were to pick a stitch, on the front screen here, it's got some really useful ones. It's got your zigzag, your buttonhole, your straight stitch. And if you were to click one of those, just with a real simple touch of a button, but button, it's got a, um, a very reactive touch screen, it automatically changes your stitch length, uh, your stitch width to their default settings, which you can override and you can change the stitch width and you can change the stitch length. If you play around with it too much and you're thinking, I don't know what I've done, I've been pressing too many buttons, if you just press and hold on the C button, it will go back to the start. So you can't do anything wrong. For anybody who is worried about using a computerized machine, it is the most user-friendly machine I've ever turned on. And the reason that I say that is uh, because, well, we have lots of guest designers, we're used to, and we will have in the future guest designers that come in and do demonstrations. And lots of people who have never even seen this machine before can just plug it in and start sewing. A uh, very, very good friend of mine, I know John won't mind me saying, John Scott, he uses this, uh, he has been using this on his Facebook Live on the last few weeks, and he says he loves this machine because of the space. He was used to working on an industrial machine, and he says if he's using a smaller machine, feels claustrophobic. This has got that extra wide throat space, which is going to be ideal for quilters, dressmakers, uh, if you're doing soft furnishings like curtains or blinds and you need that extra bed space, it is gorgeous for that. Um, what else is that I want to tell you? Oh yeah, talking of doing larger projects, it does also come with an extension table. It comes with a big extension table. If you can leave it on, I would. It comes with a knee lift as well. There's a little hole on the front. If you're used to more of an industrial machine, uh, knee lift is really useful. You can use it with a foot pedal. You don't need to, it's up to you. Again, your personal preference. But if you're sewing, I know a lot of people who have got their kids sewing at the moment, they can't reach the foot pedal. Or if you want to have 
I learned on a, a machine that actually had a start stop button. So I, I don't like using the foot pedal now. It's like playing the drums. I find it's too multi multitasking too much. Can't control my speed as well, I find. But the great thing about the speed control level is even if you put your foot down completely on your foot pedal, it will only go. So if you put that right to slow, it doesn't matter how hard you put your foot down on the pedal, it will only still go slow. That's brilliant if you're doing intricate things or pivoting. Um, it, it's brilliant to have the variable speed control that you can alter whilst you're sewing. It also has your automatic thread cutter. I know how many people love that function. Um, that's just a quick, easy snip, so it's gonna save time. It's gonna, of course, save a lot of thread as well. Uh, also, your needle up down. A brilliant, brilliant button to be able to keep your needle down in a position if you're rearranging your fabric or you're doing pivoting. Great to know that your needle is down. You've got your locking stitch, so you don't need to be going back and forth. You can just do a locking stitch. If you do want to do a reverse, you've got your reverse button there and your start stop. So you can use it with your foot pedal or you take your foot pedal out and you use it with your start stop. It also, whilst we're on the foot, you can see there, you've got an extra lift. So it lifts as normal. But then on the back, you've got an extra an extra lever to, well, the same lever, it just has an extra height. If you're trying to get a quilt through there, that is really gonna help. And an automatic thread threader as well, which is very useful indeed. Um, it is an all round, fantastic, fantastic, robust machine. It's gonna do a good job and it's gonna do the good jobs for a long time. Whether you want to do some fancy stitching, if you want to you know, do a, a sequence, I think it has a, I can't remember, I think it's a, a memory up to 50, if I'm not mistaken, uh, but you could do lots of different characters and it will have that memory, which is really, really easy to, to program in and save to your machine. Uh, but also on the front of your screen, you've got the mode buttons. So you can go through the modes as you can see on the top of the stitch plate that's mode one this is mode two so you can go through there you can also use the memory feature to at the end of each stitch you can use your thread cutter or you can use your locking stitch at the start and it will memorize uh, when to use that you've got how to adjust your stitch width and stitch length you've got twin needling you've also got uh, if you want to um to do your satin stitches slightly wider, if you want to elongate your stitches, if you want to mirror them, uh, if you want to lock your machine, so if you're changing your needle or if you've got little hands or paws around, you've got the locking button as well. It is a fantastic machine. There's so much that we could talk about. We could talk about it for the whole day. Uh, if you do want any more information on it, have a look on the Eona website or have a look on our website and there's um, a few more. It will talk through what standard accessories you get. With your uh, instruction booklet as well, there's loads of info and tips and hints in there. So, um, the needles, are they on here? Yes, they are. So, the needles that we have picked out to show you, I've got a few different needles. Now, of course, it's it, like your rotary cutter blade. You will need to change your needles uh, and you will kind of feel when it's not going through as you wish when you need to change them. Most quilters I know probably change them after a big quilt project. It, it depends on how much sewing you're doing. I've got blue tip needles. Now I'll always remember uh, a friend of mine, Helen, who uses these when she doesn't really know what needles to use. She puts in a blue tip needle and it's fantastic for jersey, it's brilliant for denim, it's good for leather, uh, it, it is it's good for stretches, it's got a ball point. So there's so many different fab... Oh no, this one doesn't have a ball point, does it? This has got a pierce point. Oh yeah, let me see. The pierce point with a long groove, excellent multi-purpose needle, recommending for difficult slash synthetic fabrics and machine embroidery. So they are brilliant all round needles to have. Would you think these for more sort of dressmaking then? Yeah, if you're using more of your synthetics, then this would be handy for that. Um, if you're... If you if you if you do find that your needle is maybe or your machine is puckering, try one of these needles. It may help. It may help. If you're doing a nice summer dress and a lighter weight fabric, I think they're going to be that they are going to be really useful. Five pounds fifty, and you're getting lots of replacement needles. I think they're they're great for universal dressmakers. Actually, I think that if you're a dressmaker, they're really handy needles just to have in your stash. I've never seen purple tip needles before. 
So these are your purple tip needles. Now these again, purple tip needle efficiently prevents skipping stitches when sewing stretch fabrics, quilt layers, and also for sewing across a hem. So these are going to be for more, well, heavier weights and thicker layers. So maybe now if we are transferring from quilting to dressmaking, these again are going to be great needles for you. Now they are designed, they are from Janome, so they'll be fine in your Elna machine as they come under the same umbrella. But like with your bobbins, as I said, it's, I think it's a good idea to match your brands, isn't it? £5.50. And then the ballpoint, these are for your jersey. These are for your stretch. So they are size 11 and 14. So they have a round tip. Now, when you're looking at woven fabric, it's um, when you're using a sharp, when you're using a sharp tip needle, obviously it goes through the fabric, whereas it breaks it. Whereas when you're using a ball tip, it will sort of wiggle its way and, and penetrate through. So you're not breaking the stretch. Can you tell I'm, I'm a scientist explaining? <laughs> Not. Um, no, I'm, I'm not. not for, I know what I mean. I hope I'm, I'm explaining it clearly to you. I wish we could do a diagram to explain. There's your, there's your woven fabric, and your needle will go through it. Where it will, it will penetrate straight into the, uh, the woven fabric. But if you've got a stretch, it will go through it. I think the demo is getting worse, isn't it? I thought my fingers might help, but I realised I'd only got two hands. <laughs> fabric was just jumping away from each other, which isn't what happens, believe it or not. Can we move on to the bobbins? Can I save myself now? Save me, bobbins. Uh, these are your Janome bobbins, lovely quality bobbins as well. I know that you can get bobbins at a very affordable price, but of course you might be at risk of breaking your machine or um, you know your machine might not like them. These are Janome bubbles, bobbins, so they'd be really good for your Elna machines or your Janome machines. Uh, how many did you get? 10, 10 of them for, I can't remember the price. It's all right, the, it's L-U-W-Q-9-2. L-U-W-Q-9-2. Thank you, Kat. But uh, I think it's really good just to be able to, uh, to wind a load of bobbins all ready to go. They're eight pounds. Eight pounds. Thank you for that. Okay. I had this from my, um, I can't remember, when was it? It was my show, it was my, was it my birthday show? 24th. It was around that week, wasn't it? It was around that week, we had H640, but it was the biggest deal, it really was, because we've been waiting for this from day one of setting up the show. Uh, H640 is for me the most useful interfacing because you can use it for so many projects. Now, it's like we've had a lot of fun with this and cut it all up. It will come in a metre piece. I know that Debbie did two demos with this yesterday as it became back in stock. I think there were 300 units that sold on the day that this launched. It was so popular, 300 metres. So it comes in one big metre piece. It's £9.99. If you want it, you've got to be quick to get it. Yours will be a lot bigger than this. Um, this is all I've got at the moment to show. Uh, we cut it up yesterday, but can you see that it's like a, a fleecy side, the one side, and it's got glue on the other, little um, little glues. In fact, after this show, Debbie's show will be repeated, so watch it back as she, do a, she does do a demo in the eight o'clock and the 10 o'clock, both using 8640. Quite often, if you have any of her bag making books or any bag making book, they'll talk about a fusible fleece. This is what it is. So you fuse it onto your fabric and it will just give it some body and structure. So we were talking about this, whether you're doing a laptop cover, if you're doing tie backs, if you're using a lighter weight fabric and you just want to give it a bit of structure. Bag makers, absolutely brilliant for that. £9.99 and it's so easy to use. If you're using it for, don't get me wrong, I wouldn't use it as a wadding in your quilt, but wall hangings, cushions, bit of free motion, absolutely perfect for that. 
If you've never tried it, it's a lifesaver. You'll love it. You will absolutely love it. It won't be the, the last time that you buy it, trust me. Uh, have a look on the Visaline website as well for heating instructions, but along the salvage of your, your piece, it will um, tell you your ironing instructions. Just use a pressing cloth if I were you. Okay. Let's go April showers. Now, if you want to quilt the front of your cushion, you could use H640. Uh, that would be ideal for it, again, without having to make a full sort of quilt sandwich using a cotton wadding, which would cost more. Uh, so, your June showers. What number is June showers? Is it KGUU06? The one with the hexes. Thank you. Right, your June showers bundle, and now if I'm right, it's to make the cushion that you can see there. Uh, now, what I personally would do is I would cut all your hexes out. You could lie them on your freezer paper and so that you know that you're happy with them in the right order, like we showed you earlier on. Or you could number the back of them so you know that you're getting this, pad uh, this pattern methodically. So you can uh, do them individually. Uh, but... They do look gorgeous in this pattern. So you could have that as a cushion front. Then it's enough to make a cushion is what I've been told. But I think you could make a second cushion. This could be, yes, your cushion bag, but you could use just a plain fabric from your stash for the back. Um, that could be your second cushion. And the applique hexes at the bottom, you could add on to the front of your... Um, so then you get two cushions. And what I love as well, if you love the labels that we had earlier, you've also got quilting labels on here. How lovely is that? How lovely. It was demoed by Cara on the 12th of the 4th, the 12th of April, if you want to watch that back. There's also a link on our Facebook page actually as well, which is directly to that demo. Uh, but it's so good that you've got lots of different prints. You don't need to worry about fussy cutting because it's done for you. All the hard work has been done for you. They're complementary, complementary colors and it will look beautiful. So if you're thinking, do you know what? I really want to have a go at EPP. I really want to do it, but I don't want to commit to doing a big, uh, a really big quilt. Oh, was it Sally Ann? Sorry, Sally Ann. It was Sally Ann. It wasn't Cara, was it? It was Sally Ann. It was Sally Ann. Uh, and what I like about it, can you see they've sort of squared off the edges as well? It's all the hard work has been done for you. All of these lovely different prints for just £19.99. You also get with it your hexes. You also get your heavy, heavy hexes, so you get 200 hexes as well. Which is brilliant, isn't it? If you're new to EPP, she shows you how to stitch the hexes together and she shows you how to use the glue pen to baste them. So it's a really good sort of YouTube link to follow if you're starting out EPP. Watch it anyway. It's definitely worth, it's definitely worth having a look. Uh, places normally charge for those sort of tutorials, don't they? Uh, so just have a look. Feel free to, to have a good look through our YouTube channel. The other June sh showers... Fabric, does it come with, do they come with uh, the fabric, come, the panels come with hexes as well? So that's the only one in the bundle. If you do want it with the hexes, that's the only way of getting it. What am I doing? Trying to fold this. Uh, right, so. Your June showers. Mm, 41, did you say? That's fine. Fat quarters. So these are brilliant and they are exclusive to us. How exciting is that? Uh, because you're getting four beautiful complementing fat quarters all ready to be cut up to go. Whether you want to do some fussy cutting, they're lovely warm colours as well. Little April showers. Well, I say June showers now. I think everybody's a bit confused with what's going on uh, with the weather. I did hear that we're going to have snow soon. Well, Kat had to scrape the ice on her car this morning. Bearing in mind, we're sitting here with, we, should, we needed to put more sun cream on last week. Um, it's so confusing. You just don't know what to wear, do you? I've packed all of my summer clothes away, all my winter clothes away now. These are gorgeous. £14.99 and it's exclusive to us. This would be a great one for fussy cutting. 
doing some applique. Use them as you wish. If you've got any of the Wendy Gardner Fat Quarter books, these would be lovely for gifts around the home or the garden. There's lots you can do as well. Have you got all of your, you know, now your uh, gardener's world? <laughs> Now you're a gardener, Hannah. Have you got like yourself a little uh, apron with your tools in? She says, no, I just kind of go for the look covered in mud. Yeah, well, I rang you when you were, um, yeah, she was full on potting all her plants and looked very muddy. She says, I've got a garden that's sort of, is it two metres? Two and a half metres, two and a half metres long. So I'm very into it. Maybe you should um, maybe you should show it next year in like a if next year they do a little garden. I love going around looking at gardens. Fourteen pounds ninety nine. Yeah, they always. I remember last year, um, my mum's village had a open gardens. I think everyone's going to be impressed looking at all of your eucalyptus, your lavender in your yard. <laughs> Fourteen pounds ninety nine for your four fat quarters. Now remember, it's half of your half meter, but just doing the four different prints and different scales of prints as well. I think is lovely. Okay. Thank you. Let's have a look at oh my koi carp are flying around. They're jumping. We'll get to them soon. We'll get to them soon. Uh, ending in. Got it. <laughs> it helped. I'm so pleased you're here, Hannah. Fourteen pounds ninety-nine for your four fat quarters. Oh, the clouds are lovely, aren't they? They almost they feel three D, don't they? And the umbrella, the little Wellington boots, the little house, and uh, the colours are lovely as well. I do like that blue. It's like our colour blue, isn't it? Our uh, sort of greeny, turquoisey blue, our theme colour. With the wellies as well. And your watering can. Maybe children or grandchildren's reading cushions, they'd be really nice. You know the one with the pockets on? That you could have like a nice little um, rainy day. Listen to your story tapes. Or go home and read. £14.99 for your June showers. Four fat quarters. Exclusive to us for £14.99. Uh, right, so that's the only other fat quarter one, isn't it? We've then got the charm pack. So, your five... <laughs> I'm losing all my koi carp. I'll find them in a minute. Um, so I've got the charms, the strips and the hexes by the look of it. The charms. Oh, there's five. Whoever wants this, just check out now. Check out now. Check out now. When we did the... Um, sorry to be bossy. <laughs> when, uh, when we did the, the, the charm pack in the rainbows, it's such good value for money. Five inch charm pack. How many have we got? 40. 40 coordinating gorgeous little prints for £9.99. You can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. Oh, I like the spotty ones as well. They're cool. They're a bit retro, aren't they? A bit cafe esque. Mm. Love it, love it, love it. EPP as well, this is handy, isn't it? How many of your hexes can you fit on here, Kat? £9.99. Aren't they lovely? And to have all of these different prints, five inch squares, 40 coordinating fabrics, they're about to sell out. They will go any second now. Uh, let's do the strips. What are you singing, Cat? She doesn't know what it is. It's really annoying her. A dolphin dancing. A song with a dolphin that's dancing. Please help her. 
Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold it across this way because this is a big panel. This is your 140 wide. So uh, we've absolutely loved these panels. The strips are brilliant. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of patterns. I'm so pleased that you're all on the same wavelength as me. I want to do it the other way and do striped binding with the little white bits in it as well. Or you could pin tuck them between and like Debbie Shaw's done, make the bolster cushions. So much that you can do with these, but I know a lot of patterns that call for two and a half inch strips. So this is ideal for that. You have got that little bit of wiggle room in between if you do want to cut them up. And of course, from uh, very, very easily from your strips, you can subcut, especially if you've got the stripology, subcut into uh, diamonds and subcut those into um, hexes. You could do your little hexes or you could do triangles. You can do your binding. There's loads you can do with two and a half inch strips. Um, hang on. The price on this, that's the most afford, the wrong one. This is 19.99, isn't it? 19 pounds 99 for this, there you go. Just had a little panic then. All of these gorgeous strips for 19.99, they've all been incredibly low. They've all been at brilliant prices. Bearing in mind, for a jelly roll or a design roll, depending on the brand or the designer, you can pay sort of £40, can't you, for it? And they're 112 wide normally. These are 140 wide, extra wide. For just £19.99. OK. The last one is your hexes. We've been talking a lot about hexes. If you want to watch Sally Ann's tutorial back, there's a link on our Facebook page that will take you straight to the, the EPP demo from Sally Ann. But if maybe you've done the cushion and you're wanting to do another project, have a look at this. These are big hexes as well. So that's going to come together really big. They're not for the ones you'd have to cut your own hexes. These would fit one and a half inch hexes. So these are the ones that Kat's doing. And Kat, it comes together really quickly, doesn't it? 60 coordinating hexes, 60 coordinating hexes for £12.99. Another brilliant value for money. And I'm just going to pull this across so you can see the different patterns and stripes. You've got your fussy cutting already done for you. They're centralised, those are the motifs. And your stripe reminds me of Tula Pink. £12.99. You put one of those motifs in the middle, then do striped around the outside, change the direction of the stripe so then it almost goes round, I know. That would look really cool. £12.99. You're getting into doing this flower sort of designs, aren't you, with pictures? Yeah, like that. That's all sort of stripes going round, haven't they? Is that where you took your inspiration from, Hannah? No. Getting creative. <laughs> she promises she did it on her own. She came with these ideas on her own. Right, is it um, Bond Web time? Yeah. The reason being is because I've got them swimming around somewhere. I've got to find them. Bear with me. I'm just going down to the, the cellar. Oops. I've just pulled my microphone off, I think, haven't I? Hang on. I'll show you how to get in touch. One second. I had so much excitement to try and get my koi carp. So I've got my microphone lead that I just skipped over. So sorry about that. Uh, right, so the koi carps that we're getting very excited about. The reason that I love this, well, I loved it before, but I spotted it on the Great British Sewing Bee. Did you? Uh, right, so have we got the bundle or is it by the half metre? By the half metre. This is the one that I've been fussy cutting. And I love it with the really nice dark background as well, with the lovely pretty pink flowers. Koi carp. On black, four ninety nine and a half meter. Great price as well. Four pounds ninety nine and a half meter. And it is your chance if you're thinking of dressmaking or if you're thinking of larger projects. It's going to be cut off the bolt for you uh, to whatever size you want. So if you want two meters, add four units to your order, and so on and so forth. It goes up in half meter increments, but it'll be cut for you to whatever size you want. See, so that'd be really cool, like kimono style dressing gown, wouldn't it? 
That's your Koi Cup on black. We've also got it on blue. This is the colour that she used, wasn't it? Are you loving it? I, I honestly, I'd love it so much. I can't wait. But my friends in it, my friends, it's, um, it's so strange because I know that he's friends with John Scott as well. But it, I actually met him at a wedding fair, Mark. I actually, I didn't know him first. I didn't know him first. I'm not saying that, but I, I met him completely separately to John. It was at a wedding fair. I was singing, and he, um, we were talking about sewing and different things, and he was playing the piano at a wedding fair, and yeah, we got talking and. Then he's on the sewing bee this year. But he, um, yeah, he was at my Christmas party. Played the piano at the Christmas party. Oh, he's so nice. Mark is lovely. I hope he does. I have no idea how he does. Obviously, I don't know how they do it. They keep it such top secret. They filmed it ages ago. £4.99, but this is the one that she used, wasn't it? I really like the pink blossom as well. I really like the pink blossom. Ivory is the most popular. I've not seen the ivory before either. There's only 24 units left, which, do you know what? It sounds a lot, but it's 12 meters, isn't it really? If you think about, if you, in one project obviously it's a lot, but the amount of people that are checking out on meters of this, this could sell out any minute. Four pound 99, a half meter. If you're thinking, right, I need three meters for a dress, and a few people are thinking that, they're gone. $4.99. Oh, a blind in a downstairs bathroom. Very nice. Lampshade. What about um, if you were to make, you know, storage bags for the bathroom? So a drawstring bag, or storage boxes, a, a bag that hangs on the back of the door, or storage boxes. I think they're nice for bathroom things, these are. Or... You could fussy cut them and bond a web your own design together. So, for example, let's just introduce the bond a web. What do I mean when I say you can bond a web them? You can use this. Now, we've got it on the roll. When did you get it on the roll? Two days ago. Two days ago, we launched it on the roll and absolutely don't look back. If you've never used bond, if you've never used bond a web before, Oh, it gets addictive when you start to applique. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. Um, Han Hannah likes anything that makes your workroom look like an actual shop. So she likes to have things on the roll. The haberdashery cupboard in your house. Uh, so the one side of it has got a glue and the other side is like a paper. And it is a, a glue that you use. You still sew with it. You still sew round it with your applique, but um, it is designed to bond two fabrics together, basically. £23.99 and there's loads and loads and loads on there. You get five metres, so if you are doing a big quilt with lots of a PK, you'll need one of those. Um, what I think it'd be good for, if you're fussy cutting, now what I would suggest is if you want to cut out your koi carp, iron the section that you want onto your bonder web first, first. Because otherwise, if, you're, if you've got some quite intricate patterns, it's going to be very, very difficult. Hannah, I didn't want to interrupt you because you were very much enjoying cutting out all these koi carp. And I thought, she hasn't bundle webbed them and it will be a nightmare to try and iron this on and cut it round because you want your glue right to the edge. So if you've already ironed it onto your fabric and then you cut out, that will make it a lot easier. I'm not telling you, Hannah, you knew that. You just got carried away with cutting out your carp. So, cushion cover idea. Let's imagine really hard <laughs> that this is a laptop bag, a cushion cover, or a cushion front something. This would be perfect. It's quite creased, but we're just imagining, aren't we? So, I'm going to imagine that I'm doing an embroidery design of my name in the centre, and I want koi carp all swimming around it. So you could then, once this is bond webbed, all you do is iron that on and you can stitch around it. It depends on what you're using it for. If it's going to be a cushion cover or something, you could then iron it on and stitch it down in place. If you're using um, different fabrics, there's floral fabrics that you could fussy cut and get some nice flowers, you could literally design your own fabric using applique and using um, a fusible bonder web 
But so, imagine you've got them all swimming around with a name in the middle. If you really like the fabric or you like certain motifs on a fabric, you can start creating and building up layers and building up your own design. And with Bondaweb, obviously position it all how you want it first, but you can layer up, you can overlap and create cool designs. There's loads you can do. Go on. Obviously, you then do your stitching around the ebb to make it permanent. But if you're doing it as a wall hanging, it's not going to be uh, handled, then you don't necessarily need to stitch it down. Now, I say that very loosely because it's not going to last forever like that. It's not. Um, but it's not going to be 100 years and it's going to stay there. But it will stay on the wall. If you're not touching it, it will stay there. But it is an idea maybe to go around it with there's plenty of applique stitches on the machines. Don't necessarily need to be precise if you're using it as a wall hanging. But don't get me wrong, I love doing a bit of free motion round or if you want to uh, use a satin stitch or a blanket stitch, if you use a contrasting thread, it would look really cool. You could start to free motion like bubbles, couldn't you, around the water or waves, couldn't you? Go on, Hannah's saying something out there. She says it's quite untraditional, but go on. Applique. Onto a Sashko style panel design. Yeah. Even once you've stitched, you could do a panel of Sashko and then a panel that's a plique koi. That's a really good idea. Not necessarily traditional, but explore, have a go, have a bit of a play. If you, we've done this quite, we, we haven't done this very neatly because you've still got the black ground, but take that time to go around your intricate designs and have a bit of a play around. Use your bond web to, to fuse them. You get five metres of Bondi Web, remember, for two, £23.99. Uh, the Toucan fabrics. Oh, I saw this earlier with John's, I've put it away now, but with the uh, 60 degree triangle uh, ruler. And just fussy cutting this. Oh, it's brilliant. See, I see our little Paul making a shirt with this. Club Tropicana's drinks are free. I, I, in fact, imagine him to have a whole co-ord, so matching shorts as well. Four pound ninety nine a half meter. If you saw the sewing bee last week, they were making the fun like Hawaiian style shirts. This would be perfect for that. But it, it, then, of, of course, equally, if you want to make things for your garden, what about a little bunting or on a quilt? This is cool or um, tiki bars. You see lots of people making tiki bars. What do you mean? What do you mean a tiki bar? How do you make a tiki bar? Outside in the garden. Oh, that's cool. I can imagine your garden to have a tiki bar, Hannah. £4.99. He's got a cocktail. Hannah's got a cocktail cabinet coming next week. Amazing. So you need storage boxes on the bottom that you're not going to see as much. So you could make storage boxes from this. That would be really cool. And that would fit the vibe. £4.99. 99 a half meter we've also got it in yellow i love the blue i do love the blue but little girls little boys um summer outfits as well it's so cute i love that it's really fun isn't it it is really lovely and bright and rose and hubble you know the quality of it let's do the yellows There was a Lewis and Irene fabric yesterday. It had tigers on. Ah, Hannah says she'd mix it with this one and do a full on sort of jungle theme. That's amazing. I love a toucan. I do love toucan. £4.99. John, put your pen and paper away. Ah. Um, I wonder if John Scott would have a shirt or uh, he's watching. Short shorts in this. Hannah said that you've got short shorts in this. <gasps> Spotted in the popping shop in his short shorts with toucans on. Four ninety nine and a half metre. I, I, I am thinking, you know, for things in the garden, like little uh, seat cushions. They're really expensive. If you go to places like John Lewis or Oliver Bonus and these designer little individual stores, pay so much money. I'm imagining like a bright pink pom-pom trim round, 
round this, round cushions. It would look so much fun. Maybe we're not going to be going abroad this year. We can make our gardens look nice and tropical. £4.99. The other birds. Buy the half metre. Oh, you're, you're asking the wrong person. I'm so bad with no... I never, ever went birds watching or spotting. I'm... Hayley loves bird watching. I've got quite a bad fear of, of birds. See, this is what I mean. I don't know what... They... I saw birds. <laughs> John or no, what birds are these? Swallows. Are they swallows? Swallows on a royal blue. They're white ones. Four ninety nine and a half meter. Now this is your poplin weight again. So this is slightly lighter weight, uh, slightly lighter weight than your quilting cotton. You still use it for quilting. That would look so lovely in like a nautical style summer dress, maybe with like a red waistband or something. It would look so lovely, or a shirt even. Not just for for children's wear. This would be great for dressmaking because it's got a lovely drape. Storage boxes or do you know what? I'm going to need to make myself a whole new wardrobe because I don't fit in any of my clothes anymore. <gasps> I must say, I did iron quite a few tops today because I was thinking, right, I've bought some tops and I'm going to get in a mood if none of them fit me. Because with this sun, with, with the sun shining, I, I've been trying on all of my old summer dresses and just getting very sad that I've just been eating so much during this lockdown. Can't do anything else, so instead I'm going to treat myself to all these treats. Baking. I have been walking. I've been on my daily walks. But, um, yeah, I need a nice new summer dress. That would look lovely as a summer dress. That's for bags as well, actually. Because it's it doesn't have a direction and you wouldn't have to worry too much about pattern matching with that one, would you? Oh, no. When was the wedding supposed to be? Hannah's already had all the fittings for a bridesmaid dress that was supposed to be at Easter. It's now moved to when? Next July. You've got to still fit it next July. No pressure. Oh, gosh. Final fittings for wedding dress. Oh, my word. Oh, this dress. Don't. I don't even want to talk about it. The thought for me. Four pounds ninety nine a half meter. The, the bridal shop by me though, and they've been ever so good. And they're obviously the ones who have haven't had the final fittings yet. They can they can hold and wait, and yeah, it's horrible, isn't it? Four ninety nine half meter for your navy blue. It looks quite. It looks um very dark on screen, but it is a, a lovely midnight navy blue. As for purses and bags. £4.99 for your birds on navy. I like, yeah, I like him. Rob Ryan, who cuts things out of paper. No, I don't know who him. For wedding anniversaries. My first wedding anniversary is in a couple of months and they're saying that it's paper. Uh, Hannah would ins insist having an, an original from this guy, Rob, Rob, Rob or Bob? Rob Bryan. Oh, I'll have a look. I'll have a look into him. Four pounds 99. This time it's on silver. Four pounds 99, a half metre. But if you are thinking of uh, larger projects, um, then we will cut it off the bolt to whatever size you want. It's £4.99, a half metre and one p and all day long. If you've already checked out, don't worry. You can still come back in and make another purchase and your uh, post and packaging won't be taken till the end of the day, basically. All your orders are consolidated at midnight tonight and you'll only pay three ninety five. It's capped there, which is good. We've got the Wild Spirit. This is the one that we love. Right, this is gorgeous. You haven't you hadn't seen this in the flesh, Hannah, had you? Oh, it's amazing. The detail on this is just beautiful. It's quite it's quite Moroccan, I think. Do you? The colours are gorgeous. So you've got the birds and you've got the cage, bird cages. So it's two, but they are slightly different. So if I step 
I want to try and show it you that you can see all. Oh, there's one. And then there's the other. So the other one's got the bird on the top, this one. Still has. This one is an exclusive to us. This is a lovely, lovely panel. So I think it's going to be quite difficult for us to get this back, you know. I love the fact that you get the panel and you also get half a metre of fabric for £13.49. It's really good value, isn't it? And the detail on this is gorgeous. So if you're multi-buying, remember this will come as half a metre pre-cut. But look at the colours on there. Isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that gorgeous? The detail is stunning. Uh, I mean, you can't really see it actually. Oh, you can, if we come really close then you can kind of see all the background, the patterns, give it a really, really beautiful finish. See the real pale cream ones in the background? The detail in the bird caging. Your little bird chirping along, the dragonflies, the butterflies. There's so much more, actually, when you stop and look at it. There's great fussy cutting opportunities there, and we love a fussy cutting opportunity. It's beautiful. Remember, that will come as a half a metre pre-cut, along with the panel for thirteen forty nine. Have we got this by the half metre or not? The only way of getting it is in that bundle. The only way of getting it is in the bundle. So good luck, make the most of that. That's now really limited. It only launched a couple of days ago. So, one of the most popular products of today's show has been the ruler rack. Oh, I do like going a bit rogue, I must say. Uh, I must say, right, we've got the four slot and the five slot, and in true Debbie Shaw style, I went rogue. Uh, this is the first one, which is four slot, this one's five slot, and this one is half and half. That one is £10.99. Great. If you just want a small one, buy a small one. If that fits perfectly in your space, go for it. But this one, did you see the price? Is eleven ninety nine. It's a pound extra. It's a pound extra and it's double the size. I honestly expected this to be over £20. It's millwood, so it's really lovely quality beech wood. Uh, nice neutral colour. I mean, you can paint it by all means, but it's nice to go with most workrooms, isn't it? I'd keep it as it is. I'm not very neat with my painting, so I would get worried that it would go all drippy and stuck in the holes. I really like that it's solid wood. It's lovely beech wood with the little um, pads on the bottom protecting your surface. But it's just going to mean that you can store your rulers really... Um, I'm looking around for rulers and I've put them away now, but they'd be ideal to keep all of your creative grid rulers in. And you could fit loads, smaller ones or your bigger ones in there. Well, you're keeping your vinyl records in there. Why not? Um, Hannah... <laughs> Hannah, you, I'm so pleased you're back, but my word, she has been cooped up in her house. She's coming up with all these strange ideas. She says, I've got a record player. I want to do like a song of the week. So I'll put my, I, I want to be like, uh, make it like a jukebox that the records that I'm playing is at the front. All your rulers, she says, you can put your vinyl records in to show us playing. She's still going on in my ear about this, by the way. We're going to move it on. It's also for your rulers. She's still sticking with that as a great idea. She's also still thinking it's a great idea. We agree, we agree. Okay. Quilt label panels that we had earlier on. These launched today. The black, it's called black. I like it as like a neutral. It's gonna be perfect for any project. It's just £7.99 and look at how lovely to remember your quilts, to remember the, the gifts. If you're gifting a cushion or if you're gifting a bag or if you're gifting uh, a quilt, a baby quilt maybe, a memory quilt, there's so much on there for £7.99. There's only 14 left in stock. Oh no, the most popular. We had hundreds of these printed, there's 14 left in stock. Launched it today at nine o'clock. If you've missed it, you've got another chance. You can still do it at the moment at £7.99. Where's this hour gone? Did you just say two minutes? Did you just say two minutes? I thought there was about 20 minutes left. Right, okay, let me quickly show you this. This is called the traditional. It's red, mustard and grey. I think this is quite contemporary, actually. I like the hexy one. I like the hexy and the buttons. 
seven pounds ninety nine, and then the pink. The pink was another one that we launched again today, which is really pretty with the, the rose and Hubble poplin, the pastels that we've been seeing over the last few days. £7.99 for your classic plain pink quilt labels. And I'm thinking with, what about with your little bees? Or your flowers? All your seeds, all the buttons are underneath us on the web. All of the buttons are there. If you do want to make the most of them, they'd be lovely to embellish as well. £7.99 for your classic pink quilt labels. Aren't they gorgeous? All the buttons are on the website if you want to have a look at those because I didn't get a chance. I don't know where the time's gone. Check out of your basket on the Bonder web, the H640, any of the panels. There's a demo actually coming up next with Debbie Shaw um, on the 8 o'clock show, so the first hour that's going to go into the repeat using H640. Uh, I don't know who's on tomorrow, but let's have a look. It's John. John's in with you tomorrow, and he's got a great lineup. At 8 o'clock, he's going to be bringing you lots of fabric for your stash. 9 o'clock. Oh, you've got a demo, which will be, uh, it's filmed from Alison. I've never met Alison um, Marion. It's a gents shirt, dressmaking showcase. I think she might actually be a brand new guest designer for us, which is exciting. That's at nine o'clock. And at 10, we've got some quilting tools. So lots of great rulers and everything for your work room. Uh, do make sure you join John. I'm back with you on Wednesday. Happy sewing. Hopefully the sun's going to be shining and we can get out and do a little bit of hand piecing. Have a look on the web shop though. Do remember that you can check out as many times as you want throughout the day on the web shop or on the phone and you'll still only pay that one PMP. It's been a pleasure to be with you. We've loved having Hannah back. She's going to be back with me on Wednesday. Uh, thank you for your company. Stay safe and I will see you on Wednesday morning.